Sorry I'm late, I was watching a video of somebody using a razor blade to slice off a very thin cross-section of a strawberry, putting the strawberry under a microscope, and then the microscope shows that there's like a bunch of little bugs on the strawberry, like eating the flesh. It's fake? All right, all right, all right. I mean, I, I, maybe you're saying it's a mid-journey thing. You're saying it's like um, it, it's like the Pope uh, Balenciaga drip. Wash your produce, brother. I don't know if the water would knock off one of those mites. Maybe I don't know. My um, my in-laws, it might. Ha ha ha. How many tours you do a day, man? 25. Ha, ha, ha. Um, my in-laws use uh, a, like a spray bottle that's called like fruit wash or something like that. So they like um, put the fruit in a colander and then they spray it with like this fruit and vegetable washing solution and then they rinse it off. Is that real? Produce washing spray. Yeah, it's called veggie wash. Does it work? Does veggie wash work? There is little to no difference between tap water, rinsing, or using a fruit and vegetable wash in reducing residues of nine pesticides. Okay, but does it get the mites off of the, of the strawberries? I don't really care about the pesticides. I'm, you know, I don't even want to know how much of that stuff I've bioaccumulated over the years. But does it get the, does it get the, the ticks out of it at least? Why do you have mites on your strawberries? Brother, I don't know. It's, there's no, this is why we need the blockchain. I'm not there when they plant the seeds. I'm not there when they harvest the strawberries. I'm not there when they box it up. I'm not on the truck when they ship it to the grocery store. I'm not there when they take it off the truck and put it in the produce section. I'm only there when I, when I buy it and when I eat it. As far as I can tell, I'm not introducing the mites to the equation, but what do I know? I saw two cyclists in their 50s throwing fists today because one called the other stupid for not going on green. Guess they should get a Peloton. Brother, that's what I'm saying. It's so idyllic in here. What a great segue, by the way. Thank you. 60 minutes of intervals, around 190 watts. Legs are on fire right now. Then an extra 15 minutes just uh, chilling. Like 185 watts just to kind of roll the legs out a little bit. Felt great. No traffic, wasn't in danger of getting hit by somebody on, a, on an electric scooter, being yelled at by other cyclists, somebody opening up a door into me and, you know, breaking my clavicle. It was just a good time. I got to be training hard because yesterday I went off on chat and then I said, what's your FTP? And somebody in chat said it's 265. Uh watts and also 3.2 watts per kilogram and i i started repeating it in my head like mcgruber repeating a license plate you you rest assured i mean you're gonna keep progressing as well but once i get to 3.2 watts per kilogram 3.20001 your ass is on notice okay i took that personally you can also ban him. Well, he wasn't being toxic he would just saw an opportunity to brag which is like impressive honestly like he deserves it they deserve it. <clears throat> they didn't do anything wrong. I'm just using them as a, uh, as a motivator. Yeah, watts, watts per kilograms is a, uh, it's a real metric. Because in cycling, your speed is a function of your weight. On a stationary bike, you have to just, like, you don't actually have to propel yourself through space. So, you know, if you're 400 pounds, you, your power that you're outputting wouldn't push you as far IRL as, as it approximates that it would on the stationary bike, which is why it's a weight normalized measurement. Same with rowing. Hey, how do you become a, and, and this is not horny, this is just, I didn't name it, this is like England's problem. How do you become a coxman in rowing? Because that sounds like the fucking sickest job. I'm not suggesting that it's easy, 
But it certainly seems easier to be the coxman than to be the um, anybody that's actually pulling the, the boat. It's, it's, it's coxman and coxswain. I looked it up. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's only the coxswain. Whatever. I just feel weird saying swain. It's not a real word. It's just the coach? No, the coach is a different uh, person. The coach is not allowed to, or is not, it's not possible for the co coach to communicate with the rowers when they're on the race. So they have like a surrogate coach that sits in the boat and it goes like, hey, row, row, row. Is it just like you got to be like a really tiny guy? I did look it up because we were, you know, again, my niece wants to go to like an Ivy League school. So we're trying to find all like the loopholes. It's like, you know, what if, if she's insanely good at athletics and she's only like really, really, really strong academically, that might be enough to get her in. And we're like, well, what's the easiest athletic to, to get into for Ivy Leagues? We're like maybe if she doesn't grow too tall, maybe she could just be on the rowing team and go, you know, pull, pull. But you got to be like, I don't know, you got to be like 4'8 or something, right? She does fence as well. She is fencing. She's, she's crazy about fencing. They're even talking about having her stay with us for a little bit so she can do some fencing classes in Vancouver. Apparently, there's an extremely good fencing club that has a, a gym in Richmond and a gym in North Vancouver. I didn't know. I don't know anything about fencing, honestly. But they're, they're fencing all the time. They got, like, the rings. Like, you... Somebody throws a ring and you try to use your, your foil to catch the ring on the sword. They go to tournaments and stuff like that. How am I today? I'm good. I'm, I've, honestly, I... My wife did me a huge solid. She folded all of my laundry. I had like three full hampers of laundry. I was going to take yesterday after noon off to fold it. She folded it all for me. So instead, I worked like half an afternoon yesterday recording chess videos um, and then did all my YouTube stuff from like 3.30 to 4.30, so that after I, well, like I picked up the baby from daycare, took her to the park for like an hour, ate dinner, you know, we did her bedtime routine, read her some stories, put her to bed, I ate a bowl of cereal before bed, and then I went to bed at like 10.15, woke up at, at 6, did my bike rides, feeling good. I do think though we're we're gonna we're gonna get the the dolls started here. It's been like ten minutes, but I uh, I think I need to keep like a fun size Kit Kat with me. Yesterday, like my when I, I I think part of it was like I started the stream yesterday with um, the worst tier list of all time. No offense uh, to Library of Laterno. <laughs> But it's just like it, it broke my brain. Like it, it was basically like a, a mild form of torture going like, mm, would I rather be boiled alive or sauteed? Mm, would I rather drown or die in uh, the electric chair? Like it's just like a little, it, not just mildly traumatic. Just not, it, yeah, bad vibes is a great way to describe it. I'm glad we did it just to know that like now we know where the limit is. Um, then we played a game that requires like a 16 core brain. The real time strategy typing test. Then I played chess. So like no wonder my brain was like fucking fried. But I like could not complete an idea in, in one single sentence before I was like the start of a sentence had like one idea. And then the end of the sentence 27 seconds later was like completely irrelevant to the start of the sentence entirely. Like I was not maintaining a consistent throughput. I had some low blood sugar. Anyway, today I think we're going to do this. We're going to do our dulls first because we didn't do them yesterday. We're going to do uh, big ambitions for a little bit just to, you know, just enjoy ourselves. And then we're going to, I, I don't know if we're going to play London today, but we might be playing London today. You ever notice the popularity of dulls these days? We're starting a little early on it today. And I'll tell you, I see right off the bat, Jerry Seinfeld B, obviously that's, that's B movie, but I've never seen B movie because I was like 19 when it came out. So I don't, all I know is that he is a B 
It's not about a spelling bee, I think, but just, okay. Now, I see Christian Bale, Matt Damon, Cars, and Henry Ford. And then I also see Small Soldiers, Toy Small so This is Ford versus Ferrari. Toy Small Soldiers is Kirsten Dunst. That's Small Soldiers. Verifiable, right there, okay. Julia Roberts. Ah, wait a minute. Julia Roberts, there might be a fifth one here. I guess there is a fifth one because the average is 4.1. Julia Roberts is obviously uh, in Pretty Woman, where she plays an escort, but also Julia Roberts is part of a lawsuit in Aaron Brockovich, which might be relevant. I guess Renee Zellweger must be in um, B-movie. Okay. So we got Pretty Woman, B-movie, Ford versus Ferrari, Small Soldiers, bunch of swaps left. But we don't have any yellow lines. I feel like if it was Julia Roberts' lawsuit, we would have two yellow outlines here. Jerry Seinfeld is not going to be our connector. He's like, I don't know why I want to say that in a food, Foo Fighters voice. Jerry Seinfeld is not our connector! What if Jimmy Seinfeld was our connected to the... Anyway, because he's, he's notoriously, he doesn't do movies. Escort, Matt Damon, Escort, Matt Damon, Cars, Toy Cars. What about, a, a, an Escort is also a, a car, a Ford Escort. <laughs> cars? I can't believe I'm trying this, okay. Wait, Cars Transformation? Toys, this is, it's Transformers. Cars, Transformation, Toys. Bumblebee! Okay, okay, okay. Of course. That could be literally any of the Transformers. I was so, like, stunlocked by this Aaron Brockovich. I was looking for, like, Christian Bale, uh, like, Terminator Salvation 2. It's Transformers 2007. Okay, that was good. That was good. I think we're getting better at that. Let's, let's do some Rotten Tomatoes dull today. It is four words. It's an action comedy that's loved, liked by critics and audiences from 2004. 2004, very much uh, like Dodgeball, an underdog story. That's more than four words. Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, way more. It doesn't feel like a Wes Anderson movie in here. It's rated R. Rated R, R-rated action, Kung Fu Hustle, but that's not going to be right either because Harold and Kumar, no, okay. Something along, I'm, we're knocking on the door at least. Action comedy, Shaun of the Dead, it's got it, it it's it, we, it, there's not, oh, really? I thought for sure it was Shaun of the Dead, a film that works on every imaginable as a comedy, as a sharp political commentary and as a send-up of bombastic action flicks and even as a musical. Sounds British. Four, wait, no, a send-up of bombastic action flicks. I mean, this it sounds like Hot Fuzz minus the musical, but Hot Fuzz is like two, 2007. I don't have an answer for you here. Um, I, I'm going next clue. As puppetry, oh, the Team America World Police! Puppetry, Team America World Police, of course. Okay, we got it. That's pretty good. We're, we got a current streak of three. The hardest part is summoning the, the plausible answers based on the year. There's a lot of Matt Damon today, for sure. We got Tradle. 85.5% gold. Total exports, 2.34 billion. Almost everything else, fairly negligible. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to start. 2.34 billion, not an insignificant amount, but not a ton of, of exports. And it being like almost all gold has me thinking that this is like, um, like Liberia or something. Maybe that's, oh, it's, it's in South America then. Okay, it's 5,000 kilometers away in South America. Could it be Suriname? I'm crazy. I'm actually, I'm insane. <laughs> what ETF is this? I know, it looks like uh, the fund manager is Peter Schiff. Okay, I'm, I'm, we should do the dulls in the, in the morning, man. Like, my brain is cooking. Um, 
movie to movie seems insanely difficult today. I'll just tell you, um, I, I don't think I can do it without chat's help. Prey and Spice World. Here's the thing. I bet we can find like a Hollywood actor in Spice World or at least an English actor. But I don't know how to get to like uh, anyone in Prey. Except, you know, what we, I, I think <laughs> like I know Amber Mid Thunder is the star of Prey, but I don't know what else she's in. She was in Hell or High Water with Jeff Bridges. Thank you. That's all I, that's all I could ask for. So she's in Hell or High Water with Jeff Bridges. I couldn't have done it without that. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll take the assist, add three strokes or whatever. And then flip me. We're going to start with Spice World because I know that there's going to be British actors and actresses in this, right? Alan Cummings been in a ton of stuff. Meatloaf and Fight Club. So we're, we're basically trying to get to Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges, of course, the Big Lebowski. Jeff Bridges, of course, Tron and Tron Legacy. Jeff Bridges, he's been in a lot of stuff. He's been in Hell or High Water with Amber Mid-Thunder. I'm feeling like one of the, we're trying to get to Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. How does one do that? I'm just thinking for now, this is not going to be a banner performance. You go Meat Club, or Meatloaf Fight Club, and then you got, you got a lot to work off of here. This guy, dude, this is like one of those actors, you see him and you're like, that guy, but I've never known his name. I'll forget it as soon as I leave this page, no disrespect. Don't recognize, I, I recognize Bob Stevenson. I don't know why I'm still scrolling, as if it's going to like, oh, I'm going to be like, oh, Jeff Bridges, right there. Ed Norton, Primal Fear, Richard Gere, Ed Norton. The score, Marlon Brando, Robert De Niro. I'm sure there's connections here. I just don't know them. Helena Bonham Carter, every Tim Burton movie ever made. Any chance we can get to a John Turturro here, which allows us to get to the Coen brothers. I mean, Brad Pitt's been in so much stuff. We're trying to get to Jeff Bridges. <laughs> Brad Pitt, I'm just, I keep moving <laughs> like further away. Babylon's got a star-studded cast. I think I made this exact mistake before, and then I was like, yeah, it's not... Oh, whoa, but Olivia Wilde! Tron Legacy! Holy cow. We were saved. Jeff Bridges. And then um, Hell or High Water. And this is where the assist comes in, okay? I, I appreciate that. With that. Without that, I couldn't have gotten it. Mark McKinney was never in Spider-Man. Who, who plays um, the Scorpion? Dr. Connors. Oh, we could have gotten to burn after reading. Yeah, it's true. Brad Pitt, burn after reading. Francis McDormand. And then, like, Francis McDormand is the back door into the entire Coen Brothers filmography. The Scorpio. You know what? Who played Dr. Connors, man? <laughs> Dylan Baker? They, it's one of those things. They look very similar. I'm also losing it here because someone just said, uh, Pray, Amber Mid-Thunder... Uh, the Ice Road Trucker, Liam Neeson. My ass watched that movie. I should, I should have known. No, listen, Reese, Reese Ifans. I know Reese Ifans. He's, he's um, Danny Deck Chair. Okay, that's the new movies. That's or and by new I mean the ones with, I think um, Andrew Garfield. No, you didn't. You watched Cold Pursuit. No, I watched Ice Road Truckers as well. It's the one, it has Lawrence Fishburne in it as well. I watched it because Malf told me to watch it. Then when I watched it, I was like, why'd you tell me to watch that? And he's like, because it was bad. He got me pretty good. Okay, Dylan Baker. I'm telling you, Dylan Baker must be uh, very similar to Mark McKinney. Is Mark McKinney the Kids in the Hall one? I always thought that guy was from Kids in the Hall. Yes, okay. Those, I, those two guys look similar. Now I'm realizing Dylan Baker must have played the very eccentric um, billionaire on uh, The Good Wife, who maybe he killed his wife, but they couldn't prove it. <clears throat> this is Algeria. We always start Algeria. Wow, it's pretty close. Let's go with... Give me Egypt. Further away. Okay, give me... Nigeria. Give me Cote d'Ivoire. <laughs> Give me Mali. Oh, it's adjacent. 
Give me Liberia. Give me Senegal. Hey, that's not so. Average guesses today, eight. We got it in seven. That feels good. Okay. Bro, they. I feel like it's just Africa. Like this must, maybe this isn't Africa. I don't know. This is one where you like definitely can't look at chat. People know country outlines so well. Tax day coming up, by the way. Let me get a, sure, you know what? I saw it, let's give it a try. Angola. Wow, it's really close. Okay, I don't even know where Angola is, but this is to the northeast of Angola. This, this looks like it borders the Mediterranean on the north. So it's not Tunisia, this could be like a Libya. Ooh, okay, south east of Libya. Central African Republic. This is where my geography fails me. Northeast of the Central African Republic. Um, can we see how close it is? Fort oh, it's so much further away. Okay, what about um, uh, uh, Lebanon? 1,400 kilometers away? Oh, it's no. Okay, now it's south of Lebanon. I've gone too far. Fuck. <laughs> 2,000 kilometers is, is fairly far. I almost feel like this could be like um, Iraq. Oh, southwest of Iraq. Um, all, all I can think of is maybe Sudan. But I think I'm, I'm, I lost. I'm going around in a circle. I, I've lost where I am. Oh! <laughs> oh. I can't believe we got it. I was like, it, it doesn't seem like South Sudan for me, because I know that South Sudan is newer. This is maybe not um, fair, but I assumed that a newer country would have like more uniform borders. Yeah, I don't know if it's true, because I don't know what almost any country looks like. The straight line is the border with Egypt. I thought, I thought Sudan bordered... Ethiopia. It does. It does both. Okay. We still got... Oh, we got Guess the... I love Guess the Game, because no matter what, it's always fast. Also, like, I'm so embarrassed that it tends to be the one I'm best at. Okay, start me off on this. I don't know what it is, but I think I know that I know it, as crazy as that sounds. Like, this looks like something... That I know, but I don't know what it is yet. I, I could not tell you, but I'll, I'll say that this looks like it could be something like Little Inferno first. Okay? This looks like Machinarium. Okay. Fuck you. I don't know. I just felt like I had to put some kind of punctuation on that one. Take me to Chrono Photo. Man, I really am a morning person. I'm so much better in the morning than I am in the, in the afternoon. I'm going to do all my stuff in the morning from now on. Okay, this looks like it's from, like, the Summer of Love. I'm going to say this is 1969. Okay, it's 1967. We take those. To me, this looks like this could be Franklin Delano Roosevelt's wife. So put me in the 1930s. Give me a 37, 28. She could, back then, they wore hats for a long time. She could have had that hat for 10 years, for all I know. This is England. Um, it's England. It's England. It's a country. It's part of a kingdom, the United Kingdom. It's England. England is a country within the United Kingdom. This is the most psychotic stroller I've ever seen in my life. Was it built for like a kid to push around a baby? It looks like it has no handling whatsoever. It looks like the man, no wonder old people's backs are always messed up. Like look at how far he has to extend his arms just to put his hands on the stroller. Like you couldn't have made it like just a couple of inches taller. That's crazy. Anyway, to me, just based on this, this looks like mid seventies to me. Horizontally striped men's shirt, Longer hair. Women um, dressed in 70s style. 
walking on the road for some reason. The cars look like they could be from the 70s. Yeah, give, give me like a 19, I'll take a 73. 1980. Wow. When did they get color photography in, in England? Okay, I'd probably say that this is like the Vietnam War. Like 1968. 1942. Never mind. It's not the Vietnam War. That is uh, it's the Second World War. That's a big miss. Is this Canada Place in Vancouver? No, this is the Empire State Building. Now, there's a lot you can glean from this guy right here. Men of this age don't rock this hairstyle and sunglasses combo anymore. This is drill ruined it for everybody. Also, I thought it was that old people tucked their polo shirts into their jeans. But actually, I guess even, not that he's young, but even younger people back then, they've just been always tucking it into their jeans and they carried that with them into, into old age. I mean, to me, this seems like, give me a year 2000 on this one. Looks about the turn of the century to me. 2005. Holy cow. I don't want to be like judgmental. This might be, this is some of the worst drip I've ever seen. And I don't know anything about uh, clothing or fashion. The three quarter length shorts. Black shoes, black socks, black striped polo tucked in with the belt buckle showing. Um, <laughs> I'm not bullying him. I'm just, something about it doesn't, like, I think it's the shorts. It's like they can't decide whether they're like adult shorts or children's pants. Right, this guy's watch does look like it's tattooed on. I mean, he looks like he has like a hundred million dollar net worth as well. So like, don't, I'm, I'm not trying to be like a hater. Raid his hair? I don't have the credentials. Okay, we did not do well on this today. That 2398, pretty bad score. There's a flag one. Okay, let me, let me take a look. I'm not good with flags though. Your goal is to guess a country or territory's flag with as few tries as possible. Green means the color, the correct color is in this location. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I'm clicking a button that says, I understand, let me play the game. But I did not understand, okay? Why don't you just start me with um, Canada? Because um, it might not be an optimal guess, but at least I know what I'm getting into here. I think that this is the flag of China. Because the, there's stars that are red in this position right here. I'm insane. Nope, this is completely wrong. No, there's stars that are white in this position. Okay, maybe this is... You know what? Let's go New Zealand. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, is a Union Jack... It, this looks like one of perhaps the, the Caribbean Union Jacks. Give me a Bermuda. Uh, it has a very similar coat of arms at the bottom. <laughs> it's, it's blue in the top and then something. I don't even know what these flags look like, man. Give me Barbados. No, that's not even what it is. <laughs> What I don't I don't understand. So it's blue here, and it's a little yellow here. But like, what is, why? How are there stars over the Union Jack? Is that a real flag? There is no Union. Oh, the Union Jack. It's just blue up. It's blue with stars up there. The Union Jack is. That's the negative. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the negative right now. Okay, I understand. Blue with stars that are not blue cuz they're white. I have no idea, man. Is it Burundi? I feel like the problem is <laughs> I can't keep these in my brain. Even if you 
showed me the flag, I, I don't think I would know what country it is. I wouldn't even know what to type it in as. So it's gr blue and green with a, <laughs> a green outline star. I, I can't, I'm sorry, I give up. I'm sure. The answer is the Solomon Islands. It's not, I, I can't do that, I'm sorry. That's, that's not possible. That's, this is uh, for insane people. This is one where you need to like know every flag on earth just to, just to start playing. That's, that's too much. We're not doing porno. I think we might be done for today. There's one, people said try Pimantle. I'll, I'll see what it is. Try to guess the daily word with semantic similarity. No, I hate semantle. It's not a knock on you, but semantle, it, it, it's just... I need a, like an anchor, you know? I, like, even if I don't know the country, Globla is good because when you get it wrong, it gives you a direction. So you can like anchor your next guess to like some context. Semantle is like, okay, the, I, um, for people that don't know, semantle is like... Um, you have to pick a word that's semantically similar to another word. So it gives you nothing to start with. And you're like, okay, the word, maybe the word is hamburger. And then it's like, hmm, that's 8% similar to the semantically similar to the word we're looking for. And you're like, okay, what's 92% different from hamburger? Um, I don't know. Tape. You type in tape and it's like 4%. And you're like, okay, so it's 96% different from tape and 92% different than hamburger. Like you're trying to, it's like in global, you could get a guess that's like, it's to the West. Then you guess a country to the West and then it's like, okay, this one's to the North. And you're like, okay, I'm slowly like getting there. So mantle is like, you're, you're, you're lost. Like you're, no light can escape from some mantle. That's why, uh, and it, it, it's been suggested, but I don't really like um, contextual, contextual either. Or um, contextual, I haven't played, sorry. I meant redactyl. Because redactyl is just like, hey, type a word. And I'm like, I don't know, uh, house. And it's like, nope, not there. Try again. And I'm like, I don't have any, I don't have any. You at least give me like an ice cold, ice cold. Warm. Like it's, you need to at least, that, I, it, you need to, for me, you need to put like a domain on top of the the dull if there's no domain if there's like infinite possibilities then there's only one possibility which is i'm leaving there's a hockey player one called hurdle well this one would just be for me hang on <coughs> <clears throat> named after thomas hurdle of course i mean we're just going to start we're going to say it's elias Pettersson. Oh, okay. I, I see how this works. He's uh, The player is in the Western Conference. They are not in the Pacific. They are younger than 24. They're not from Sweden. Their number is less than 40, and they don't play center. Okay, let's say... Give me... Um, let me think about this. Young players. Give me, uh, give me a Kale Makar. He's younger. He plays defense. Oh! He's a... He's the same age as Pedersen, though, and the number is lower than eight. Holy cow. So they're on the Colorado Avalanche. They play defense. Give me Byram, Bowen Byram. You have won. The mystery player was Bowen Byram. I'm crazy. Hurdle's my kind of game, man. I will say, if it wasn't Bowen Byram, my ass was done. I can probably name, like, four other players on the team, but I don't know if any of them are under 24. Add it to the rotation. I mean, we could do hurdle, but I always I have to turn off the sound, and then I just approximate the sound. It sucks? Okay, here we go. I don't know this song. It, oh, maybe I do. It goes, dunky, dunky, dunk, dunk. It goes, dunky, dunky, dunk, dunky, dunky, dunk, dunky. Okay, skip me again. I'm not looking at chat. I've probably heard this on the Peloton. Oh, 
，哎，就是 But my memories bring back memories bring back 啊 ，Donkey Dong Donkey Dong Donkey Dong Donkey Dong Donkey Dong Donkey Dong Donkey Dong 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 I need to hear a voice. Donkey donkey donk donkey donkey donk donkey donkey donk donkey donkey donk donkey donkey donk. Is a woman's voice going crashing? Hit a wall. Wait, are you ready for it? Ready for it? Cause I'm. Is this Dark Horse by Taylor Swift? I mean by Katy Perry? No, it's Don't Let Me Down by the Chainsmokers. Okay, never mind. My ass is not cooking. All I know is, don't break me down. No, 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 no.、Oh, Woohoo! I tell you once more before I get out the door. Don't break me down. Someone guessed it at the beginning. Yeah, because my、uh, impression of it was like pitch perfect. It was horrible. Um, somebody got it. Can you play ten seconds of music? No, it's like the one of the biggest myths. This is like the the internet is like the blind leading the blind. At some point, it became common knowledge that、uh, you can play five seconds of anything copywritten without it being like a copyright violation. It's simply not true. I don't think there's anything in the legal record that that says that it's true. Just somebody said it, and then somebody said, "Oh, that sounds right." And then it's just been—it's proliferated like throughout there. I watch streamers that play music the whole stream. Yeah, they're breaking the law. They use splitters, so it's not on vods. He's still breaking the law, <laughs> which is again—it's just—it's not that they found like a loophole that makes it legal. It's just that they're like less likely to be discovered, which is also like you know everybody chooses their own personal. Risk tolerance. It's all good. Why are you so scared of everything in life? What do you? I'm not scared of everything in life, but I'm scared of of my Twitch channel being taken down by three、uh, copyright strikes and losing my livelihood. It's easy to take risks when your ass doesn't have skin in the game. Just go to kick. No, I hate gambling. I think it's like a scourge on on planet Earth. Quite frankly,、It'd、be a compromising of my of my ethics. You again? You do you? I'm just saying. <laughs> I went. I was laughing when I went to Dan's chat today. I was. I was like, man, Dan's got like a ton of viewers for reruns. Like usually when chat when streamers do reruns, it's like, I don't know, one tenth of the audience is there. Like half of Dan's audience was there. So I popped in and I was like, I wonder what's going on there. And it was. I just saw Wolverine walking on the bottom of the screen like this, and then like. Uh, Rayquaza flying through the air, and then like I, I, there's just all these、uh, like every chatter has a, a an avatar on the bottom of the screen, and then the chat is just mods have opened up a casino roulette、uh, for thirty seconds. Get your prediction of the numbers in, and people are like exclamation point sling eighty channel points on number thirty three, and it's just he's running like a a five hour long casino every day. It was I was laughing so hard. He's got his own little metaverse going on there. It was so good, and I was like, I don't get it at all. And somebody challenged me to a duel. I was the Pokemon known as Sentret. They were Shuckle. They kicked my ass, and I was like, you know what? I kind of get it. All right, like our ass is back. <laughs> Immediately swore. <laughs> Rip to the monetization. <laughs> oh, anyway.、Um, We gotta figure out. We gotta divest ourselves from this,、uh, from this business, man. Like we, the, the donut shop is just not doing anything. It's losing us. I, I guess I would just keep it open, even if it is like a financial drag. I'll keep it open as like a reminder that we should not open a donut shop, and we should open like another store. Which band has the best name but makes the worst music? I don't know. I did see. You see the tweet that was、uh, 
It's not a bad question. It's just very hard to come up with an answer, okay? Because I don't know. What's in a name? A rose by any other name would s would smell as sweet, right? Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, excuse me. If you're turning, you have to turn into the lane closest to you. That's actually it's it's completely his fault. I, this is a he's at fault. Anyway, um. Did you see the tweet where Imagine Dragons said their worst nightmare is some kid getting bullied for saying he loves their music, and then the quote tweet just said, I've got some bad news for them. <laughs> it's very mean-spirited, but also quite funny. $5 an hour to park here? Holy cow. Well, you gotta spend money to make money. Like, the, the profit margins on beer have gotta be like, it's like the profit margins on soda, right? He tried to take my spot. <laughs> It's just like water and, and barley. I would like to... Call me crazy on this one. I would like to open a business that um, has a lot of demand and not a lot of supply. That, that guy just said I can't find any cash register. I don't know, man. I guess I'll just buy like a checkout counter. I mean, I guess it would be weird to go to like a luxury jewelry store and then put all your stuff on like a conveyor belt, but... Let me go to, <laughs> I could take it from the donut shop, but you don't understand. I'm leaving the donut shop as, um, as a reminder to only sell products that are like worth a lot of money. Yeah, but it has two. Yeah, but it also has two staff. And if I, if I'm firing staff, like honestly, at that point, we might as well just unwind the whole business. And then I no longer have that fire in my belly. You know, I no longer have that, that weight around my neck that, that forces me to push a little harder. Reassign the staff. No. No, I'm not going to do that. It's probably the right thing to do. I'm not going to do it. Why not? Min-maxing my, my fucked up donut shop doesn't sound as fun to me as just putting going all in making another business. And I'm playing with a, a, a digital toy right now. So rather than um, try to, like, because, like, listen, it's not real money. It's not a real donut shop. And the people that are doing it are not real people. We're just gonna spool up another business. It's gonna be. It's gonna be just fine. Also, what I mean, they, I, I think this is, there's an element of this that's true in real life too. Also, what so we can just see like our our net worth go up a little bit faster. But digitally speaking, you can't take it with you. Don't you remember what Mama Odie said? Froggy was a rich man. Something, something, something. It won't make you happy now. Would it make you happy? Did it make you happy then? The usual Mr. Wick. So, <laughs> I gotta see John Wick 4, man. I, I know that this is now a segment called uh, Did You See That Tweet? But did you see that tweet where it said um, John Wick 4 made $90 million at the box office? Keanu Reeves only speaks 300 words in the entire movie. That's like, I don't even, I'm not gonna do the math, but it's like $300,000 per word or something like that. And then the quote tweet was like, I haven't seen it, but I'm pretty sure he does some other stuff too. They marvelified John Wick 4. It was hard to watch it for three hours. Listen, I haven't seen the movie. Your criticism might be valid, but I respond to your criticism in a glib way that's offensive. Um, anything I don't like is Marvel now. Everything, everywhere, all at once, even though it deals with the multiverse, obviously not Marvel, because I like it. John Wick 4, not a single purple guy with a golden glove filled with magical stones. It's Marvel, though. This looks like the OVO pop-up in Vancouver now. Let me get a cabinet with drawers. If you've ever been inside like a luxury store, I know we're going to be selling cheap gifts, but this is basically what it looks like. It's a, it's a building with one rack of clothes in the middle and one cash register sitting on a cardboard box in one corner. And then you bring a shirt to the front and they go... That'll be $1,100 cash or card. And you go, fucking card, are you crazy? You think I carry $1,100 in cash on me? Have you lost your mind? It's, it's 2023. There you go, peak efficiency. We should, we should put a wall up here. So it's like, ooh, I wonder what's happening out. Well, because you know, another thing that happens sometimes in a luxury store, the store looks like it's this big. 
and then you go there and you're like, oh, I want to buy this. And they're like, right this way, Mr. Wick. And they like open up like a hidden wall and there's like chairs and they're like, do you want a cup of coffee or something? And you're like, no, I came in here looking for a belt. That it really makes the customer feel special. Maybe Costco has a room like that. I hope they would tell me if it was uh, as an executive member. I'm still a dude. I had to like my wife and I had some words last night. She was like, why are you so excited that we got $14 cash back from our Costco executive membership? And I was like, that's because we only spend $10 a month on the executive membership. So the $450 that, we, that is extra is basically like they're paying us to shop there as long as you ignore that we spent like $700 there in the first place in order to get the $14 cash back. But that we were spending money on things that we used anyway, so we were going to spend it regardless. And then she's like, yeah, but that's only like a, a, a bubble tea. And I was like, yeah, but you'd be buying the bubble tea anyway. So it's like it's a bubble tea that you would normally have gotten in the first place, but now you don't have to pay for it. 50 pieces, $7,000. Holy, dude. We did it. We, we've had a, a very small amount of Costco breakage, I will admit. Because they forced us to buy... I thought we could buy six muffins because they come in packs of six. And when we got to the front, they were like, um, these only come in 12s. And I was like, I mean, in my head, I was like, then your ass should put them in packs of 12 instead of packs of six. But anyway, so now we, um, they gave us 12 muffins. And we, I was trying to eat them like within reason we still only ate like seven of 12 muffins. But you know what it means is like, I'll never buy muffins again at Costco. Instead, we bought croissants this time. The muffins are fine. I got nothing against the muffins. I just, me and my baby cannot eat 12 muffins before they go bad. You can put them in the freezer. I'm not, the, the freezer for me, we've been using it a little bit more because of, uh, of necessity, because of our Costco membership, but to be honest with you, the freezer is where I, I send food to die. If I'm like, I don't want to eat you, but I also don't want to throw you out because then there would be like the pain of me having wasted the money buying you in the first place. I'm like, I'll just put you in the freezer and then maybe I'll eat you one day. And then like a year and a half later, I'm like, when was the last time I, I bought this? This must be old as hell. And then I just throw it in the garbage, basically. If I cook something that freezes, then I put it in the freezer. But if I like buy something from the store and before it goes bad, I throw it in the freezer, I'm like, it's never coming back. I'm sorry to say. There is no, there's no coming back from that. If, if four saran wrapped Costco Kirkland Signature banana chocolate chip muffins end up in my freezer, it's over. We should make it uh, for all days, please. Business is closed today, wrong. It's 10 to, 10 to 6, 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 and 10 to 6. Seems like reasonable hours for a, um, a jewelry store. Also gives us time to buy groceries if we need to. I don't want to park here, though. I'm realizing I'm, it's 5 bucks uh, an hour to park here, right? Why no weekends? Hang on. <laughs> Take me back here. Set destination. Oh, why no weekends off is probably what you meant. That makes more sense to me. I meant why no weekends off. It's all right. I remember when I first got the internet, I paid by the letter as well. I don't want to move my bed over there because I think it's going to, because it's, maybe this is just nonsense, but to me it feels like it not being in a storage room is going to be bad for the interior score. But I could be wrong. Sidestep the question. With the, que the reason I'm not giving my guy weekends is because he doesn't have anything to do on the weekends anyway. Like his ass might as well work. Uh, the only other thing he can do is stand up and uh, watch television in, his, in one of his own stores. Like it's, <laughs> there's no... 
I want a weekend because I honestly the there's like a little balance that happens. You you get sick of working by Friday, and then you're like, oh, I'm so glad it's the weekend. And then like Saturday, Sunday, spend a lot of time with the family, run errands, and then like by the twenty fifth hour of reading Dr. Seuss stories, I'm like, my ass needs to go back to work. I'm sick of Dr. Seuss. That's why Monday comes around and I'm I'm jazzed to be here. But digitally speaking, I don't know, like this guy, he, he's just a vessel to get this number up, I guess. So like, it's, it's not like he has anything meaningful to do with his weekends regardless. I know this city like the back of my hand. I'm a true New Yorker now. One thing about New York, you never stop at a red light. Also, wait, I have to open up Google Maps real quick. The city is nothing like New York. Mm, looks pretty New York to me. There's fire escapes everywhere. That's like one of the major hallmarks of New York, in my opinion. Fire escapes. Um, people wearing very, like, puffy jackets. No alleys. Very, very limited amount of alleys. Everything closing at 7 is very New York as well. I didn't know that. I thought that was a Vancouver thing. Someone said my experience in New York is getting yelled at for only tipping 10%. I don't what the tipping discourse it, it went to a bad place on on Twitter. It wasn't with me. It was with it was America versus Europe. I it's it's I don't want to get involved with it, okay? Deserved? I didn't do anything. My my take on tipping is that I I do think that tipping is like stupid, but it's like a catch 22. Because if you don't do it, you're like the dickhead. Because it's the way that the system works right now. If you were rebuilding it from the ground up, you would just pay your employee. Or you would, we would want to set up a system where you just pay employees fairly, and it's not left to the customer to like subsidize it. But that's not the way it's set up. So I think my my take on tipping has evolved over time. I've always tipped. I've never been like a bad tipper. I've, I've never been like, someone who prides themselves on being like an amazing tipper, but I've never been like a deliberately bad tipper. If you don't tip and the reason you don't tip is because the system is stupid, then I think you're basically kidding yourself unless you are also actively working to change the system. If you're only not tipping and then using the excuse that the system is bad, but you're not doing anything to change it, then you're just benefiting from the system existing and everybody else subsidizing it. You, you're not forced to tip. I'm not going to like necessarily judge you morally. I'll judge your action. I don't think it makes you a bad person necessarily if you don't tip. So I can take advantage of a system that I'm working against. I, not tipping doesn't mean you're working against the system. It just means you're not spending money. If you were protesting or something like that, that's a, writing letters to your congressperson at least or something, tweeting about the issue, I would say that maybe doesn't count. <laughs> Especially if you're just arguing with other people who are like, if you, if you don't tip, you're an asshole. If you do tip, you're an idiot and just like not reaching any sort of middle ground whatsoever. There is no middle ground. Then don't, what was the point in arguing about it? That's why I didn't want to bring it up in the first place. People are very, very sensitive about tipping. People's identity is tied up in their tipping. We've, we've talked about it left, right, and center. We got it all. I think everyone's figured out at this point where they stand on tipping. Why don't you tip your sandwich artist then? Well, like, because they never had a tip option on the card reader. And then, like, the last time I went to Subway... They had a tip option on the card reader. I tipped 10% and I haven't been back to the store. Logically speaking, I mean, like, listen, it's... <laughs> Left click to enter, please. It's weird. Let me pause this so I don't get my words twisted up. If you tip someone to pour soup into a cup and hand it to you, or you tip someone to hand you a pre-made sandwich, or you, you tip someone when you pick up a pizza or something like that, then there's no logic to not tipping the subway worker, pardon me, who was your concierge from the start of the sandwich to the, the finish of the sandwich and did everything as you asked. But 
it's just not done is the other thing it's just like subway was not a it wasn't a tipping place it was a it was a place you don't tip and then now it's a place where you tip and there's no there's no logic to not tipping there except that there's never been a tip option there before would you tip it at mcdonald's no but like i mean i think if you worked at mcdonald's i could understand being like what the fuck if anything, I wouldn't be tipping them for like what they did to the food. I would be tipping them for the incredible logistics inside of the restaurant. Dude, a McDonald's is like a logistical marvel. They're making like 30 people's food all at exactly the same time. And you usually get exactly what you ordered, plus or minus like one dipping sauce. And also maybe if you order like a strawberry milkshake, they're going to give you a vanilla or something like that. That's logistically pretty incredible. Like they're playing Cook Serve Delicious in there every day. My family tips the, the mail carrier in the holidays. I think that's kind of like we used to do that. Well, my, my parents used to do that when we lived in a small town. I think that's pretty standard. I mean, the, the mail carriers, they're doing the Lord's work out there. Without the mail carriers, how would I know uh, how much frozen chicken breast costs at a grocery store that doesn't even operate in my neighborhood? I'm joking! I have a good credible respect for the, the, for the mail! But that's like a Christmas bonus. That's not like a tip. You're not like, oh, thanks for getting me like my Pokemon cards today. Instead, it's like, thank you for your service throughout the year. Have a nice Christmas. How is he still paying double the labor for Snoopy's than needed? We're letting it it's it's a vestige it's a reminder of like messing up it's like how like if you made it through like narcotics anonymous you might carry a coin that is like here's how long i've been sober that donut shop for me is um like it's my sobriety coin it's to remind me not to ever open a donut shop you're precisely correct all, I, it, it, this sounds like I mean it from a place of toxicity, but it's not a place from to of, of toxicity. I mean this actually positively. I'm glad that my digital guy is getting backseated over mundane stuff the same way that like all streamers get backseated whenever they're like, you know, they've admitted to spending money on anything. Sure, if a streamer eats DoorDash every day, people in chat are like, isn't that expensive? That seems fair to me. But then sometimes you're like, I put dried cranberries on my salads they're like really dried cranberries wow okay listen it was in a big bag it was called salad topper light so it must be good for you it's dried cranberries it's sesame seeds it's pumpkin seeds i don't know what else is in there i think i spend like 500 bucks on deliveroo every month i'm gonna die what the heck is deliveroo is this like Australian DoorDash? We also have Just Eat. We had Just Eat in Canada, then it, it went out of business. Or it, it got out-competed by, or maybe it got bought by Skip the Dishes or something. Foodora also, well, I don't think Foodora went out of business in uh, Canada. I think that there was something with Foodora where like the workers in Canada were unionizing and Foodora said, fuck that and just like shut down. Also, again, you always have to evaluate versus the counterfactuals. Did we spend a lot of money on Costco in or at Cos at Costco in March? Yes. But there's a trade-off to everything. The money we spent at Costco was offset by the lack of uh, delivery we bought in March as well. I can't even remember. I, mean, I think we might have gotten. I mean, I don't, I don't count pizza in the same group as delivery. In this, it's delivery, obviously, someone is bringing food to your house. But it's not, the prices for pizza delivery is essentially the same as buying it at the damn store. You just pay maybe like three bucks to, to get them to bring it to your house. Some of them even just offer it as like, a, as just an included service. It's the DoorDash where they get you, man. I'm not trying to say, like, it should be a different header in the dictionary. I'm just saying, like, if you're like, oh, I eat too much delivery because it's hurting my pocketbook. Pizza is like, you're still paying more for the food than it costs to buy the ingredients and make the food yourself. However, 
The delivery, you're paying a small convenience charge, whereas on DoorDash, you're paying like 20%. They just break it out into 17 different uh, charges. So you're like, I don't know if I actually real... It was paid a $4 convenience fee, $8 DoorDash fee, $7 to tip the driver. All of a sudden, my the $20 of Chipotle I ordered is costing me 71 bucks. You buy 25 bucks worth of pizza, you know, it comes to your house. You're like, you tip 32 bucks all in. You need the dash pass. It pays for itself in like three orders. I want the company to go out of business and, and be a cautionary tale for businesses forever. I do use it from time to time, but I, I think the world would be a better place if the company didn't exist. Especially because they have the audacity to not be profitable. If the prices weren't so, like if the fees weren't so egregious, I wouldn't hate the company as much as I do. But the fees are, are so insane, combined with the fact that they don't, from a, from a bookkeeping standpoint, they don't make money, the company should not exist. It is, yeah, it's, like, it's the same way I feel about Ticketmaster. Do I use Ticketmaster when I'm forced to? But like, imagine if Ticketmaster was like, oh, we're not making money. I would be like, what are you talking about? You get paid like 50 bucks per ticket just for existing. And you don't do anything. What about Airbnb? My ass is very hotel pilled now for sure. There were a few like golden years of Airbnb where you're like, oh my God, I get like an entire apartment instead of just a tiny room. I got a kitchen, I've got like maybe two bathrooms. It's basically the same price as a hotel room. That it was a beautiful couple of years. Now I feel like it's more expensive than hotel rooms. And also it depends on the host you get. Some hosts are like, hey, just tidy up when you leave and then we'll, uh, we'll send in cleaners after you because we're making money hand over fist. And then some of them are like, hey, you didn't make the bed when you left? There's like a, a surcharge that goes on top as a result of that. And you're like, my ass will just be staying in the Marriott from now on, quite frankly. I don't, if, if I can keep me, my wife, and a toddler in a hotel room, they clean it for you, like then the world's our oyster. I got charged a hundred bucks for a single piece of trash being left out, not a joke at all. Well, it is a joke, but you're not lying, I think. is <laughs> It's crazy. We also, like, Kate's grandma, we, we thought that she might come stay in Vancouver for a bit. We don't have the space in our house, quite frankly. Like, like literally, we just don't have a bed for her or a room to put the bed in. Um, so we were looking into, like, long-term or short-term rentals. Maybe she could come for, like, a month or two. Every single one in Vancouver was, like, four to $6,000 Canadian for a month. And we were like, fuck you. <laughs> you. There is no way. Let it, let it stay vacant as far as I'm concerned. I'm not paying you six grand a month. It's, it's extortionary. Bubbly? Okay, well, bubbly, we're still, we're still going strong. As long as it's uh, still uh, 9.89 to 10.09 a case at Costco. I'd be stupid to, to not be buying it. What do you think is the worst candle scent? Interesting question. I don't have an answer for you, but I will say when we were at um, our in-laws place, there was a candle and my wife smelled it and said, this is like the most foul smelling candle I've ever seen in my, or ever smelled in my entire life. And then I smelled it too, and I, I was like, this does indeed smell like, like industrial cleaner went wrong or something. And then our, our niece was like, oh, my grandma picked that out. I don't know what the hell's wrong with Kate's mom. She went to the candle store and basically bought a candle that smells like poison. Or I don't know if maybe the candle was just cheap and it like rotted or something, but like it was, it was like no smell and then the faint undertone of, like, oh, foul smell. What about the Gwyneth Paltrow vagina candle? I will say I, I, I don't want to tweet it because tweeting sucks. Um, but this one's just for you. 
I have like a hilarious moment every now and then when we have, we have this thing called a Yodo player, which is like a speaker that you can insert a, uh, a card into and it plays like an audio book for your kid. And we have one that's, uh, it's an Eric Carl book. It's called Brown Bear, Brown Bear. What do you see? And it's, I see a, a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck. What do you see? And every day I get a punchline when I put it in there because it, it starts like this. It goes, Yo Yodo Player Presents. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? By Eric Carl. As read by Gwyneth Paltrow. It gets me every time because she's reading it like so like semi-seriously. Why the hell are they pay Gwyneth Paltrow to read Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do, you, what do you see? Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? I see a black dog looking at me. Black dog, black dog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. I just can't imagine anybody like looking at these cards and then being like, oh, we got to get that one. It's read by Gwyneth Paltrow. I mean, did I listen to part of uh, Anna Karenina as read by Maggie Gyllenhaal? Yeah, but like, it was mostly because I recognized her name. <laughs> and all the other Anna Karenina audiobooks, I was like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Maybe it does work then. Um, but they didn't get any money out of me for that. They, they just got um, an Audible credit, which isn't even real money. Copium, copium. <laughs> Those House of Leaves audiobook as read by Megan Trainer. No, thank you. The walls are closing. In, 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 in. They should make a House of Leaves movie. Directed by I don't know why I wanted to say Brett Ratner. No thanks. Um, that's my gift store. Yes, okay. Directed by Uva Bowl. House of, House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. As read by... Bobcat Goldway. Uh, okay, Sleep Me. On Friday, we can pull our money out of the bank. We, we were making money hand over fucking fist, dude. Bank run on Friday. Yo, 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 dude, TikTok should do the bank run challenge. Yo, everybody, we're pulling all of our money out of TD Canada Trust on Friday. Pass it on, pass it on. If we all pull out our deposits, we could get our money and then the government will just bail the bank out anyway. No, not that one, that's my bank. I didn't want to tell you my bank. I don't want my bank to have a bank run on it. I had to choose a bank that I don't have any, any products with. That's a felony? It's not a felony, Poindexter, okay? It's a joke. <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, Snoopy, sanest business venture. Average daily income, $1. They still love the pricing, which means I hate the pricing. Let's throw that up another five bucks. At this point, I think this is like when Radio Shack got bought. Like, we're only keeping Snoopy's around to, like, carry forward, like, a capital loss on our taxes. Please sell it. It's just disgusting. Bro, there's nothing to sell. I could just abandon the building, I suppose. Why is it doing so bad? Because we can only sell so many donuts a day. Each one of them makes us, like, a dollar in profit. Or a dollar in revenue. Hang on, I also, before, okay, you know what? Like, I don't know if we even have time for this, sh this shit. Opens in one hour. Spend 48 bucks going to the damn Costco. Run through the Costco. I, I gotta go to work, bro. Fuck Snoopies. You know what? <laughs> I'm sending out a text that's like, you're all fired. <laughs> um, how, do, how do I close a business? You can at least move the staff to Family Jewels. Okay, that now we're talking. My employees, um, Eric, you're now working at uh, Family Jewels, and Ava, you're now working at Family Jewels. 
And then at, at Snoopy's. Settings. Shut down business. Goodbye. I would like to terminate my rental contract. Holy cow. 23 grand in my pocket. <laughs> oh, no, no. I think I've, I, I'm about to go ships mode. Like the next... Uh, sorry, expensive jewelry. Expensive jewelry. The next uh, step is to go sips mode, which is to just buy a gaming PC and start streaming in the back of the office all day. The more space we have in the jewelry shop, the more customers we can handle. We're going to be like, and I mean this in a positive way, we're going to be the Walmart of jewelry. Exactly. I, I, we're, we're, hey, listen, they're, everybody working at our businesses has 100% satisfied. Worst case scenario, they lose like 10% satisfaction from hearing me go, he's one shot, he's one shot. Why does your character hate his life? Excuse me. He's actually feeling a little bit better now. Uh, oh, he does have minus 50% happiness because he has no home. I <laughs> suppose we should probably... I mean, there's lots of personal goals here. These personal goals are so sad. Where's, like, be a good person? Leave a good legacy. How about, wait, look at this. Employ 100 people. Rent 20 apartments. How is that a, a life goal? That just sounds, like, annoying. Yeah, where's 6,000 steps a day? He's not homeless. He just doesn't sleep in a house he sleeps in a business that he owns that's not homeless you should import jewelry it's cheaper we only serve american jewelry at this establishment okay we're a proud america first company here we let costco import the jewelry and then we buy the jewelry from costco an american company that's the way my streamer Canadian advertisements be like proudly made with real Canadian xanthan gum. That's still a... <laughs> that tweet cannot go off, but it makes me laugh every time I think about it. Did you know that there was a controversy in Canada? Because uh, Heinz ketchup used to use... In Canada, Heinz used to use Canadian tomatoes. And then they switched to using American tomatoes. So then uh, angry Canadians started buying French's ketchup instead because French's uses Canadian tomatoes. It was actually like a whole, uh, it was a big deal, man. They probably teach it in business school. My mom got mad about it. My mom got kind of mad about it too. She doesn't even eat ketchup. I'll eat whatever ketchup, I don't really care. I will say, no dis... Yeah, honk yourself, buddy. No disrespect to the French's corporation, but like, I do, I mean, if you ask me to pick a ketchup, I'm picking Heinz. But again, if you ask me to pick a mustard, I'm picking French's. It's, it's a, a, a rivalry as old as time. Should probably get an apartment. But then I gotta buy, I guess I could just move my bed over <laughs> in my fridge. <laughs> It'll help out my guy's happiness. But then I'm like, is there, there needs to be like an advantage to happiness. Because otherwise, why do I care if my guy's happy? Whoo! Like there's no negative consequence to it. So why, why would I care if his happiness meter is full? So why care about anything in this game? I mean, to some extent, there's some, some truth there. We got to do something about the frame rate in this Ikea, man. It's, a, it's getting a little rough. Dude, that would be a sick prank to, to pretend to be insanely bad at driving. But then actually be like amazing at driving once you get on Can Canada's worst driver. Be like, yeah, I get in accidents all the time. But then like 
once you get on Canada's Worst Driver, they're like, okay, we're going to have you go through this like um, obstacle course in reverse. And then you just, you just go. <laughs> the other great thing about Canada's Worst Driver is in so many um, events, they have like a cut out pedestrian, like pop out of a wall or something. And then you have to swerve to avoid them. I would say one in three people when the cut, they know that the cutout is going to pop out. One in three people, though, as soon as they see the cutout, just go, ah! And then just, like, speed up and smash it. Yeah, I haven't talked about it just because it's actually, like, a heinous uh, Vancouver event. But there was, like, a murder in Vancouver, and it was, like, a mid-30s dad got stabbed to death outside of Starbucks in front of his wife and toddler daughter for asking guy to not vape. That that one, that story made me feel like a little sick to read. Partially because like it almost describes me to a T, but also because like, I mean, it, I mean that really sends it home. You know, when you see like a murder and it's, you know, in another part of the city or something like that, you're like, I don't go there. I'm not saying they deserve that. I'm just saying, like, it, it's, you know, you can't relate as much. But the dude just hanging out in downtown Vancouver with his family, getting killed for asking someone to not blow vape smoke, like, in his toddler's face, like, that, I, I could see that happening to me. Now I'm just going to walk in the other direction, though. Or maybe run in the other direction. It's not a bit. This <laughs> people are. You guys watch too much Germa. It's not a bit. I'm being sincere with you. Especially because, like, you know, on Saturday there was like the uh, the elbow smash thing happened to me, and I was like, well, like nothing went wrong, but it was like a little sinister. And then it was like the next day that a dude got just randomly murdered, essentially, and I was like. I gotta move, man. Yeah, then I did the, the execution tier list. So it was like a pretty sickening couple of days. But I feel like I've come out on the other side like a little normal. That being said, I do think I have to move to the suburbs. <laughs> Not that you can't also be killed in the suburbs, but... Suburbs are scarier to me? Well, like, I don't know. We, we've talked about it before. Your risk of, like experiencing crime is I live in the city it's higher in the city but most of it is property theft being harassed you know your your risk in the suburbs is like if someone it wants you dead I mean that's where every episode of like forensic files starts right it's never like Oh, in downtown Manhattan, there's like an unsolved mystery. It's always like in some town you've never heard of in the Midwest. Like someone broke into their house and killed them. So I think like in the rural areas, I guess suburbs aren't rural, but like in rural areas, you get like more heinous crime. I don't know. I don't want to go down this road, but real risk in the suburbs is death of the spirit. I'm like, you, you can hate me if you want. I live in the city. I like the city. My ass is getting kind of wistful for the suburbs. I think you can still maintain a fulfilling life in the suburbs. Just because, like, you know, there's no sushi restaurant within 20 minutes of you. That doesn't mean, like, your soul has to die. It was different before we had a kid. Because we could take advantage of the amenities in a city a little bit more easily. But nowadays, I'm not doing... I don't have the time to do, like, cool cultural stuff anyway. And we have to eat at restaurants that have high chairs and ample space and parking. So I'm like, honestly, I think that pretty much means like the suburbs is maybe watch some movies. Yeah, there's some trade-offs. It would be weird to like go for a long walk and there be nothing but houses though. Like that seems crazy to me. You know your kid will grow up? 
I mean, like, I don't <laughs> have to make it like this. There's positives for a child about not being in the city proper in Vancouver as well. Like, there's some stuff that we see on, like, at least a weekly basis that, like, I don't know how a five-year-old reconciles that. You never lived in the suburbs? No, I spent, like, my whole teenage years in the suburbs. And I don't know. People are like, it, it killed my spirit? It was totally fine for me. It shows? I've lived in, the, in Vancouver for, like, <laughs> 12 years. <laughs> what do you want? I, I've, I've, I've seen the upper crust and I've seen the patina on the, on the cast iron pan. I hated living in the suburbs for every minute. What's, why? I'm not, like, I, I see the suburbs being bad from the perspective of, like, like, having to own a car to then drive almost anywhere is pretty bad. But, like, the other thing is, if we move to the suburbs, it would probably be the suburbs of Vancouver anyway. So you could still walk within, like, 10 minutes to probably, like, 17 different grocery stores. Countryside? No, that's not for me. Suburbs, people are horrible. Car-centric design crushes you. I don't know, maybe I'm just built different. Maybe, maybe I'm God's strongest soldier. It doesn't really bother me that much. When I'm in this... <laughs> I, mean, I live in a, a very walkable city. Is your kid going to hang out at grocery stores all day when she gets older? No, I'll drive her ass to her friend's house. People in the suburbs get politely asked for change and they make a Facebook post telling all their friends, Bro, I live in the city! <laughs> I'm catching so many strays. My ass is dealing with shit that like 90% of chat is not dealing with on a daily basis. I'm dodging, you know, like human turds and I'm, I'm happy to do it. I'm seeing, like, you know, open drug use and, you know, I'm, I'm crossing the street when somebody that looks insane is carrying, like, a steel rod down the street and smashing it into the sidewalk every time they take a step. People are, like, they're, they're angry at me. Like, they're doing a uh, headcanon that I'm, like, the guy who invented suburbs. Hang on, hang on. I live in San Francisco. I feel you, brother. Okay, you can insult me. <laughs> Nobody else, though. Also, I hate to say this, because, again, I, I have a chip on my shoulder. When you pay big city prices to live in the city, you want to think that it's, like, better in every way. Maybe it's just, like, the novelty factor. But when I'm in, like, smaller town Washington State going to stores with my in-laws, I'm like, actually, I can't believe I'm saying this. People are just nicer. People got, they got smiles on their face. They're saying after you, after you. You almost feel like you're in this together. People, people are, are letting traffic through a little bit more than they do in the big city. Everyone just like, like it's just a slower pace. Whereas in the city, like people honk at your ass for stopping at a red light and not turning right immediately running over pedestrians. Like it's, Everybody's in such a rush. Like, I think they're, they're more stressed out. I'm not saying they're worse people, but I think the lifestyle makes you a little bit more stressed out. So, like, whenever... You're, you're always late for stuff because there's always traffic, because there's a lot of people, because everybody's also late for stuff. And then, like, you know, one person makes you 15 seconds late because they don't want to run over a pedestrian. And you're like... Ah! Meanwhile, your ass is just chilling in Mount Vernon. You're going to the Tulip Festival. It's a, it's a two-way stop. Someone's been waiting there for 30 seconds. You drive up very slowly, and they go after you. And you go, you know what, sir? You've been waiting after you. And they give you, like, a salute. And they say, thank you, young man. And that man was me. Also, I don't, listen, this is not that relevant to my life, but Vancouver has, like, so many beautiful people in it. Everybody, they, there's, like, people trying to get into modeling, people trying to get into acting, like, Olympic athletes, people, they take care of themselves, they ski, they, they swim, they jog, they run triathlons. I'm like a Vancouver four, right? My ass is walking around Mount Vernon, I'm like, 
I could own this place in six months. <laughs> I'm like a Vancouver four. I'm like a, a I, I don't want to, I don't get too high on my own supply too much. I would say I'm like a Mount Vernon eight. Like I would, people would be turning their heads when I walk down the street a little bit. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. The humblest streamer of all time. <laughs> yeah, Jerma's a Mount Vernon 9. Chibli with the face app filter, he's like a Mount Vernon 11. I like Mount Vernon. You can post this to Mount Vernon. I got nothing against Mount Vernon. They got a, they got a nice co-op grocery store that makes uh, smoothies. I don't know if this is every small town in the Pacific Northwest, but the main street has 30 businesses and nine of them are breweries and brew pubs. I don't know what that says about society. That is all small towns <laughs> in the Pacific Northwest though. Okay. Isn't Vancouver kind of a small town? Well, like compared to like Jakarta, I suppose. Mount Vernon, I think, literally has like 15,000 people that live there. It's pretty tiny. Oh, you know what? I don't know. You're right. I don't know if I turned my speakers on. Jakarta mentioned. Why are you such a big fan of Brexit? I'm being gaslit here, okay? <laughs> I didn't vote for Ken Sim, okay? A lot of people are saying I voted for Ken Sim. I did not vote for Ken Sim. I voted for Roller Girl. I don't know anything about British politics. I don't, like, I'm just being honest with you. I'm not being cagey. Um, I just... British politics is like an action movie. Like, it moves too fast. I live in a country where we... Historically, we change the Prime Minister like once every 10 years. The fact that, you know, the UK, they change it every 10 minutes, it's like, it's just, it's too fast for me. They do be roasting each other. I do miss, Canadian politics used to be, like, more British than American. It used to be, like, they'd stand up in Parliament and, like, do up the button on their suit, and then they'd be like, what my, is like, they would respectfully diss you. What my esteemed colleague would have said if their head wasn't full of Quebec-made Oka cheese is, and now, like, like everyone would go, oh, sneak this in on, on CPAC, right, which is, like, our C-SPAN. Nowadays, they get up and say, many people are saying Meatball Ron has some of the best ideas that have ever, like, it's, we, we went, unfortunately, just a little bit, I, th I think we picked the wrong bedfellow in terms of political entertainment, but there is still heckling, though. Your sons and daughters, husbands and wives. Mr. Robertson! Mr. Robertson! Calm yourself, man! Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Meatball Ron, listen, I'm not saying you gotta hand it to him, but Meatball Ron is really funny. You see the clip of him saying, he came to me and he's, he was with tears in his eyes. He said, I need your help. I need your endorsement. I said, even if you got the endorsement of George Washington and, and the late, great Abraham Lincoln, I still don't think you could win. Anyway, that's... Sorry. <laughs> he, he's he's a, a comedy legend. I hate to say it. World's, world's greatest bully. <laughs> I did see the story. I don't know how I got the story, but it got fed to me that apparently... Ron DeSantis is notorious for eating chocolate pudding with his fingers, which is fucking just psychotic. I just can't even imagine why you would ever do... I don't know if that's true. Like, I'm, I'm rife for misinformation. Like, I'm primed for misinformation on that because I want to believe it. But if, if it's been valid, validated by Snopes or something, then I'm like... <laughs> 
<laughs> he said he only did it once. All right. Well, like if he's, if I was insanely hungry and I had only had chocolate pudding and no spoon, then maybe I would do it. Okay. Why are you guys such no, not drama not, frogs? Not, not, not Prezzo. What? It's I'm fault. talking about how Prezzo has his own username on a on a competitive live streaming platform. Mm -hmm. And nipples. <laughs> and nipples. I he does have his own nipples. Drama, Ryan. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I've never Ryan, is your webcam meant to be frozen? In my life. Don't <laughs> gaslight me. You know what the problem was? I spent like so long troubleshooting it, and it turns out that it was just um, the Elgato game capture software was like, I'm going to take your camera for a bit. And oh, yeah. Sometimes I, I have to deal with that when I, I open up. I just have to open up like the. 4K capture or whatever. And it, then... it blows my mind that you use the Elgato capture software. That's crazy. To I me. don't. Yeah, I, wow. I use it for the, the the game capture. I don't use it for my own camera. I just go raw no, dog yeah, straight no, that's OBS. Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> what do you use? Just add Justin. it as an OBS media source when you're done. Yep. Isn't okay, that then still... how do you look at it? Is I have a pass still... through to my monitor. Yeah, you oh, so I just switch my monitor. monitor. Man. The Elgato <laughs> has an HDMI out. You just plug it into a monitor. Can I torture a mosquito? Oh my god, I have a lighter. I'll be honest, what man. I'm heck? actually that was terrible. so stoked to see the Mario movie in a couple weeks. It looks yeah. good. It actually, I think it's going to be good. It should be fine. I mean, I yeah, Anya Taylor Joy. I feel maybe. bad that I like, if it's good, that's boring. I hope it sucks. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I hope it's fucking terrible, <laughs> man. Well, oh, man. Justin hate the notable place. Mario and Italian hater. You just, just imagine. Justin's never going to see the Mario movie, man. I am. And I might see it on a plane. You th I it's, saw Detective it's, Pikachu uh, on a plane. It, oh, okay. Be. Then you will see it on a plane. I'll give you that one. Yeah. Detective Pikachu's good, man. It's honestly pretty good. That, I was pissed off. I, like I was Pikachu. hoping it would suck, and instead it was fine. So I, saw it was it, uh, I saw it in theaters, and you know, there is a reveal at the end. There were yeah. two very high, like, teenage girls behind me watching it, and when the reveal happened, they both went like, <gasps> like there was no <laughs> shot that they saw it coming at all. They were like, oh my god! That is very funny because I'm I'm probably the. I don't worst remember the reveal. Predict. Oh, oh, that's man. terrible. Maybe I didn't I'm, see it. I'm probably the worst for predicting uh, like twists in movies, and I saw that one coming from the trailer. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh shit! Oh. Ghibli. Ooh. Oh come on. It's <laughs> <laughs> a pretty good one. Why did I go into the red? I don't understand. I like started in the red, so my throws uh, fall. Oh, I I fucked that. that up so bad. I let go so I feel, late. I feel so damn stupid for movies because I'll watch a movie. It'll have like a twist in it, and I'll be like, oh, "What the heck?" And then I'll like uh, hear people talk about, it, be like, "You yeah, look so obvious." Like five, five, ten minutes in. Yeah, honestly, it was like, I'm just like, dude. No, I love when movies are so unpredictable. Like I love when they kill a lovable character for no reason. I yeah, love that. Dude, I, I love sadistic and fucked up movie. <laughs> I love a movie. It's like a character that great, everyone I've loves dies. That you might like really like. I don't know if you've heard of it though. It's called uh, a Game of Thrones. Uh, <laughs> Yo! Oh, no, fuck. Dude, I've okay. got a great the movie for you. Deadwood. Y'all remember the show Deadwood? Deadwood? That's uh, just yeah. Corey's penis after he sits on the bike seat for 90 wow. minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm hard <laughs> and no. I think this is spoilers, <laughs> but it's like spoilers for a two decades old HBO show. But uh, they took what everyone assumed was the main character and just fucking killed their ass like halfway through season one. It rocked. I was so happy. Everyone else was very mad. Why are you guys so good? Born this way? Get that red line off my oh, screen! Oh. oh! yeah, I tried to turn around. What the hell? Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a new one! God damn, that was close. Actually. Holy, holy <laughs> shit, and now one swimming. Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> And yeah. I can't wait for the Mario movie to succeed, and then they, then they make a Zelda movie, and it sucks. Yeah. So oh, bad. Dude. 
What do you guys I think of a... Is, they're not going to make a Zelda. Oh. I don't think anything is more <laughs> annoying than just people complaining about Chris Pratt and Mario. Because, like, Chris Pratt does suck, Why? and he is annoying. Oh, okay. But nothing is more annoying than 6,000 people saying how it, he, they're unhappy he's Mario every single fucking day of my life. Anytime I mention the movie, it's like, well, uh, Chris Pratt, oh my god, like, uh, Chris Pratt. Uh, Sounds like you love him. <laughs> no. <laughs> is this Michael Jackson <laughs> talking? <laughs> I'm not tapping! I'm not tapping! I'm not tapping! <laughs> oh, it's just fucking freestyle again. You're Sorry, I dropped the ball. For a loop here. Oh, let's go! No! I didn't get a middle! Quite a, quite a throw. Quite a throw. I got less, but I didn't go for 10 seconds. So. Wait, Corey is New Zealand? Yes. I said I was going to embarrass Chip's country. Oh, that's right. We don't give a fuck, honestly, Corey. <laughs> like, grow up. <laughs> New Zealand's got bigger problems, man. Like, hey, we got too much lamb. And then the, the, it, later... It's cold this morning. Where's all Whoa, the lamb? Oh, we hate mice. Oh, we hate guinea pigs. <laughs> oh, New Zealand. <laughs> we hate rodents. <laughs> People from New Zealand be like, actually, I'm not from Australia. Mm. Sorry, nice that dick. was too far, maybe? You got a nice dick. You guys are all awful human beings. I've never made fun of a Canadian in my life. <laughs> you should. I just did a cannonball. I did the wrong stick. Oh, oh, oh no! How is that not a 10? I'm calling the... <laughs> Oh, I fucked you did up. a cannonball? I went in I went in like a 10 degree angle. Dude, I never even I, I literally did a cannonball and they gave me almost a 50. Nah man. I don't happen. know how I'm not getting Sometimes tins. the game can just go, oh I know you pressed that button, but <laughs> what I'm not gonna get in the water. Went in sideways though. You guys ever fucked sideways? Ah. I'm not gonna sideways? answer I don't know why I thought for a second that I'm gonna answer that question. <laughs> Damn, Ryan. I wonder it's called... why the three most difficult dives are all just pressing X three times for the first three rounds. Dude, fucking sideways, call that shit plus two. Because you make a plus, because you would make a plus you with the bodies, plus? and there's two Would you make a plus? You kind of make like an equal this sign. Is... Right, no, so that's what you, you mean by fucking sideways. Back. He's fucking sideways from the back. It's an anal position. <laughs> oh, cool. Sorry. Are they are they bent what? like a weird like, like a plus? plus? Yeah, because one person goes one way and then the other person I kind of bolt. How are you doing that? What are they? <laughs> okay, what their toes? is vertical they... laying on the ground? Okay, <laughs> laying on the ground vertical on a, on a, on a, horizontally. On they laying on a on a y axis. Okay, okay. <laughs> and your other one's on like... laying on the x axis. <laughs> the, so it's a plus. Oh. Because, and no, it's called a plus like two they, they like because it, they're making a plus and there's two of them. It's a plus two. I don't, know if, it, I don't know if it fits like that. I don't know if it fits like that. Fucking sideways, call that shit plus two. Do you need me to draw it? Like Yes. <laughs> okay, look, see, look, so it's bad. a plus. If if you if they if the legs and the arms were Why are you in, fucking that person's belly button? I, yes, yes, I still feel, the feel like it doesn't that is work the like that. That, the butt's way down there. What the are you talking about? The, leg, the butt's where the legs meet. Okay, but the butt, no, okay, well, the, the legs would be longer. I mean, also, oh, sorry, I didn't draw a fucking like fully goddamn oh, correct so said, plus like, two. Gonna get away at the, like, that I'm trying like, to jerk off and come to this. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're on. <laughs> Can what? you guys support my making a six move thing? <laughs> because like honestly, say. Uh, fucking sideways call that shit plus two is so funny. It's not that, that is funny. funny. Okay, it's really funny. It's so because it's plus. <laughs> I don't, I don't need to explain it again and maybe you'll laugh. It's a plus. They make a plus with their bodies and there's two of them. We were talking about it yesterday. You know the Kama Sutra has like 40 plus positions in it? How many different You know they found Cleopatra? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> how, many, how many different what? How many different variations can they have on this? There, there's only Plus like two. there's only like six real positions. That's the thing. Like I, I mean, you got to assume one is like, all right, you're fucking in the butt. Oh, you're fucking in the butt with like a pinky up in the air. Yeah, oh, you're right? fucking in the butt with oh. like your legs crossed. <laughs> just aggressively like. Oh my god, I was making. I got the late start. I was too excited. One, her legs up a little. Her legs down. Your legs up. 
This is very straight again, I feel like. I feel like we're in straight territory. Okay, what is it? What is the common sutra gay positions? What are they doing? Is there fucking 80 of them? Like. Sorry, I'm racing, man. I can't answer right now. I, got, I started a second late because uh, I hit A when it said set on the screen. Same. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing this. Dude, they animation. found Cleopatra. What do you mean? They okay, so like the, everyone was looking in one spot and they're like, oh, Cleopatra's here. She wasn't there. Spoiler alert. And then everyone was looking in another spot and they're like, she's got to be here, man. She wasn't there. And then they found there's another spot that's like under the water because it fucking flooded like a million years ago. And they were like, she's probably under the water. Nah, 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 not there. Some motherfucker found another place. A woman found found another place, and they're like, oh, like she's that. a woman. She's totally found because Cleopatra was gonna be found by no man. Ah, what? I'm so Cleopatra was gonna be found by no man. Is this a joke or is this real? Is this an That's real. Yeah. Cleopatra is going to be found by no man. Is this like a... Well, so they freed Casey Anthony. <laughs> the vlogger? This, what? Cleopatra did? No, the government. That's true. The government? Is that real? Crazy. Did they actually... I've been learning oh, yeah, a lot right, of stuff. That's right, yeah. Hasn't she been like... She's dating the private detective that worked on her case. And OJ's case. What, what the hell? That's like exactly what happened to the staircase as well. Someone's asking if you slept last night, dude. I'm just excited to be playing with my friends. Is that fucking a crime? Oh, it stopped hitting the button. Real ones would have known. This is what I was like all the time three years ago before I started streaming and it took everything out of my oh. head. Jibba, we've been watching old uh, TTT videos while I sleep the last few nights. And everyone's always yeah. like, wow, vintage Jib. 2016. That's scary. I don't know if I said slurs back then. You never said slurs. I Excuse know, me, Linus? <laughs> that Linus clip is insane. <laughs> what? I don't know. Is the clip of Linus I don't saying, even want to talk he's... about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's just it's say really he had funny, uh, he had a colloquialism for sure. one slur confused with another <laughs> slur, and he ah. said yes. that he said what that slur all the time growing up, yeah, and he didn't yeah, even think yeah. it was weird <laughs> or like oh, no. not yeah. okay. Then people Can were I like, say uh, what they are at like, least? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the face of, of Luke the whole time was so good. <laughs> when I said, can I say what they are, I didn't mean, can I actually say Dude, I, Well, I didn't want to answer down. you. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I'm not. This guy just talked about something being very, very tight. Mm. Maybe he's talking about your the shorts after a 90-minute uh, Megan Trainer ride. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Don't do it. It's like the... Oh, I just got too focused on the punchline. It's, uh... I can't tell more... you anything, Ryan, because you twist it so, like, devilish. What are you talking about? You said I was like a Megan Trainer stay when all I said was that the, the song was a little catchy. You said I this... I am your mother! You said there's no Listen reason... I think you, when I watched you, you said it's the catchiest song I've ever heard or something. It, it is very catchy, but I don't... I never what said that fuck? I loved it, and you said I loved it. Yeah, this, it's this catchy. It's catchy like Wait, a cold. Wait, what song do you love? All About That Bass by Megan Trainor. Oh, uh, brother. You 14? <laughs> yeah! All about that we could be on the Ellen show, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's literally like high school level. Oh, fuck. I am no. your mother. You listen to me. Stop all that mansplaining. He's got it. It's just, it's just you do it a lot, right? I'll, I'll tell you like an anecdote. I'll be listening. on your stream like four days later, and they'll be like, "This is sixty percent more than what I." Said. Well, okay, that's like partially true, because I did yeah. say that when you were promoting Justin Subathon, you said you would um, not order DoorDash tonight if he got like fifteen hundred <coughs> subscribers in the next ten yeah. minutes, and I, yeah, that wasn't true. That wasn't I don't remember true. the exact number, but I, I remember being like, "Whoa." I do think it's very funny that that happened. It, it is. I want you and to then, go with without order DoorDash. Door I, I you ordered DoorDash yeah, anyway? He yeah, he did it anyway. You went back on the deal? <laughs> well, I said I would, I would spend the money on uh, gift subs instead, so I still gave the subs. It's just... I, uh... That's just crazy to me. I remember there were <laughs> some circumstances crime. that made you have to. Yeah, because we wanted what do you to keep mean? playing. Oh, yeah. yeah. We wanted had to, to keep playing. We guys. wanted to be gaming. Listen, yeah. it's, sometimes you have to game. Oh, man. Oh, that was close. Oh, man. <laughs> so that one came out fast. 
Look, I, uh, I keep all of my words, except for like maybe two of them. I never did the um, looking good. Evangelion podcast, I understand. Yeah, sometimes, okay, look, my criteria for not fulfilling a promise is when only, like, three people want the promise, and everyone else just was kind of, like, lukewarm on it. Yeah, I understand. Everyone really wanted you to not get DoorDash. <laughs> well, I feel like everyone wanted... Well, what the fuck were we playing? Well, I was there, and I hate laughing and losing. Or was it the song? Fuck. Oh, oh, it was, oh, it it was music, music, music rating. That was yeah. pretty much the ultimatum. You were either like, all right, chat, either I could do the next round of the music it's thing or I have to go right. cook yeah. right now. Dude, I got to get in on that the next time. Cause that, that shit no, you, like, you don't want to, dude. That second all... round was fucking miserable. Really? I absolutely <laughs> wanted to. I had fun I was, I'm like, it. was great. It was, it I'm like was an hour and a the... half of listening to some of the worst songs I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, the whole time yeah, he was just like, like, where's Megan Trainer? Where's Megan Trainer? <laughs> <laughs> if we do it again, it would just be two hours of people donating Megan Trainer songs. Oh, bro, I'll be honest. Funny. Megan Trainer would have sounded oh. like goddamn angelic music compared to the shit we were listening to. I heard you guys gave Jeff. Of course, of course uh, to you, D man. to F. I don't what? You, you give Jeff Buckley yeah, yeah, D did, to F? Not, yeah, because as, as, it was the worst. Them, <laughs> as Chad told them, the hallelujah, the hallelujah guy. Yeah, the hallelujah. It was yeah, the was like, worst man, song by... Than hallelujah, dude. Yeah, I laughed really It was the hard worst Jeff Buckley song yeah. ever, man. The hallelujah, the hallelujah guy. guy. Fuck, and it was like, that's Leonard Cohen. <laughs> Doesn't he? No, Jeff Buckley did the Hollywood. He, he covered was, it. He did. He, yeah, why do you guys say it's so not, weird? Why are you all really saying hallelujah? Say, man, you try to say it on one side. <laughs> hallelujah. 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 What's wrong oh, with you, right. dude? <laughs> hallelujah. Great, great song, though. I mean, come on. That's a ten. Brilliant. I'm gonna oh. fucking kill you. <laughs> in Minecraft. Oh, in Minecraft. In Minecraft. Real. You can't work anymore. anymore. It doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't in work Roblox, anymore. in Roblox. It expired. It expired. That's worse. That's, <laughs> that's children's game. Die well, in, I guess Minecraft is in too. Canasta. Okay, in Rainbow oh, Six Siege. In Rainbow Six Siege. That's plausible. I guess that works pretty good because there's guns. Right? Yeah, that makes more sense. This is the first. I did say I want to find my, uh, whoever the HOA assistant is taking pictures of my house and reporting me. I said I wanted to find out where their house was so I like, wouldn't burn it down. Oh my so god. Like, That's, that is the most it. insane thing you've said on stream. I'm not going to burn it down. That is insane. I think that is legitimately, I closed the stream because I didn't want to be in the viewer list with the FBI who's getting information. <laughs> Are you, is your is the front of your house all like decrepit and shit? No, they so what? they trash day is you're not on mowing your lawn. Thursday. No, trash day is not is on Thursday, and the, they came late, so I was like, I'll get it tomorrow. And these motherfuckers are driving around in their cars, going, your trash can is visible uh, the day after trash day. That's a fifty dollar fine. Um, that's pretty. And they crazy. took a picture. Of it. It's fucking stupid, right? Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's brutal, man. That's maybe you could, fun. next time the DoorDash guy comes, maybe you could just get him to take the cans in from the end of the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to hear something great? Is that my uh, pest guy showed up on a trash day when the trash order came, and he very kindly brought the trash can up to the garage, not oh, in, nice. but up to the garage. Uh, so that made me forget about it because I was like, oh, he brought it up. And then the next day they took a picture of it because it was in front oh, of the garage and not no. in the garage. Jeez. And they were like, you Dude, have to put this in your garage. It's not. You should move. Possible. You should move. You should put a big wall in front of your house so they can't see. I remember my parents, after my, my grandparents passed away, they were trying to like set up their condo. They lived in like a, you know, like a homo HOA run condo association, you know, development. And. They were like, oh, your your fence needs a repaint. They're like, okay, what color is it? So they go get the color. They go, they paint the fence. A week later, they're like, that's not the right color. <laughs> they're like, what are you fucking talking about? Oh, man. You gave us the paint. <laughs> you told us the color to paint the fence. They're like, well, you're going to have to change it. You have to get this color. They're like, why don't you just fucking paint the fence? Just paint it yourself. You got nothing to do. <laughs> like, give me a fucking break, man. I like I in and like I, I'm like okay like I get it you don't want people's trash cans out front I, I get the people who made the rule I can't fucking imagine being the loser in the car driving yeah. around with a camera going <laughs> I would love that job dude That's <laughs> because sound, I get to be a hater professionally that is awesome it's like a it's like a pro tattletale. <laughs>
points on that yeah that's yeah, so yeah, fun yeah, yeah, i would yeah, be the nicest true. person ever because i'll get all of my evil energy out during work it's like a <laughs> hall monitor <laughs> adult <laughs> Something. Yeah, yeah. Adult hall monitor is good. You should you should call would, them that. I would like I would shit on someone's lawn and then report it. <laughs> you got, you like, you there's a shit on your lawn. <laughs> Someone took a poop on your lawn. Can you clean that up, please? And they'd be like they'd be like, I'm gonna look at the security. Who did this? And then you'd just see me getting out of the truck and taking a big poop. Fucking dumbass game, sorry. Oof. What the heck? It said I didn't hit that button combination? Yeah, it did, it did the same thing to me. It was like, I need an exit. That might be the best I've ever done at this. Right? I like, I like in the I didn't hit a single prompt. Uh, <laughs> we fucking sideways. Call that shit plus two. It's not good, Ghibli. I'm sorry. It's so good. I'm gonna, I need to do that. I need to gonna, fuck well, sideways fuck, and plus two. Fucking just sideways just, yeah. just implies you're both laying down. Yeah. Right? It's like, oh, I, I like, yeah. He's gonna yes. have to include a diagram with it when he. Yeah, every time you explain it, you're gonna have to draw that shit. I'll just say, I'll just say, babe, lay here. Can I? Can we have sex, babe? And she's gonna go, yeah, we can have sex. And I'll be like, uh -huh. okay, can can we pl can we fuck sideways? Call that shit plus two. And she'll be like, show me that. And then I'll be like, okay, just lay, just plank. She'll be like, I just want you to, <laughs> I want to screw me so horny. <laughs> <laughs> she got down with the dirty talk all the time. Oh, man. My energy is growing. And she's like, what? And I'm like, ooh, there's a beast inside of me waiting waiting to be released. What is happening? And then I, I pull off my tearaway track pants. What kind of human is Chib? I'm an inventor. I make things happen. I come up with new things this world fucking needs, okay? You will be coming up if you're doing that plus two, man. I got I'm PB and like I'm coming down today. Oh, they couldn't even run <laughs> 400 meters. <laughs> Dude, Spain's Spain's greatest sprinter. I could get I could make so much shit like 500 years ago. It would be so easy <laughs> to be like an inventor 500 years ago. Oh, it would, yeah, dude. it would. You just so be like, easy. check it out. Here's something after you get wet, it dries you off. It's called a towel. People would yeah. be like, this, this motherfucker is a genius. <laughs> you just put that shit out again and be like, here's a blanket. And then you're fucking. Wow. Like, Look so at this bucket. Fucking, when you oh shit in God. it, the poop goes away. It's called a toilet. Okay, I don't know. Your ass is not inventing the toilet. The toilet. I'm yeah, sorry. I am fucking inventing early stage toilet. Why are you guys <laughs> undermining? You guys are being mean. How does the toilet work, Ghibli? I thought I was pushing. There's fucking it with water towel. in the bucket. Uh, okay, F hang on. Let me throw. First edition toilet, easy man. Bucket with a pipe and water in the top. Oh my god! Open a valve. First edition toilet. <laughs> Never mind. Wasn't it? I guarantee if you Google first ever toilet, it sucks. It's a hole in the ground. Yeah. Yeah, it would have made like a tennis ball. I don't know what to do, man. These angles are ass. A tennis ball? I think I could have invented the tennis ball. How does the tennis ball work, man? I think. Bouncy. Okay. What about electricity, man? What's it made that, of? What's the material? That's a good one. Oh, uh, probably back then, like fucking pig testicles. <laughs> He's right. As a tennis ball scientist? <laughs> dude, some dude here got rich because he made a t um, ketchup bottle shaped like a tomato. That's pretty cool. Why didn't I do that? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one of those in my entire life. They're everywhere here, man. Really? Really? <laughs> it seems like it's, it would be yeah, harder love to them. squeeze. Yeah, probably. Shout out the people of Portugal. This one goes out to all the Portuguese watching. <laughs> oh, not fucking high, John. God damn it. Well, well, well. The angle doesn't exist, dude. Like, be honest with me. Have you guys ever, ever fucking hit the perfect angle on this? No, I don't think I've ever nope. even successfully made a jump. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe today's the day. Uh, world record, uh, 245, huh? How about 1.8? Look, I've got my 246, and I'll hold on to that for the rest of my life. I, I'm not <laughs> shitting you. I hit a perfect angle <laughs> for the first time in my entire life. My dude jumped a hundred feet over the bar and then oh, his foot easy. hit it. <laughs> oh, man. I just don't get it.
I the speed lock will higher. randomly not be full sometimes. Like it just completely decides. <laughs> I can't believe it. It wasn't even that good of a jump, but like, I've never seen a perfect the angle, angle before. It's supposed to be 60. What'd you do, Ryan? 2.30? Yeah, 2.30. Damn. I he wasted a perfect that, angle though. on that. Fucking... Mm. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking scream. <laughs> I jumped so bad that I just went straight up under the bar. That's the best. I keep doing bad speed. <gasps> Ooh, it wobbles, but it don't fall down. My oh, cheeks are too big, man. Oh, you're so confident. Oh. <laughs> If my oh speed my was good, that was it. Fuck me. And how does that impact on the okay. After two rounds? Oh. Well, this athlete is gonna have oh no! To what? what level to jump over the I was bar. trying to clip through. Oh man, I don't know. I think I'm doing like. How is that? Chat, explain. <gasps> oh! <laughs> God damn it! I was trying to hit through the menu and it, it selected my height for me. I... <laughs> when that booty knocks Dude, I just the can't get my speed good. Did your booty hit the pole? It hit the pole. The trajectory into, oh. just ran into sand, which is kind of cool. 8.74, pretty good. Here we go, attempt number three then. Not good enough. But thank you. Why isn't you, why won't you jump? I got a better speed and a slightly worse angle and didn't go anywhere near as far. I just ran I full speed into the fucking pit again. If they jumped with their feet sideways, they could jump so much later. Because it's thinner. Yeah, look into that. Dude, if they did like a frog jump at the line, that would be so good. Ooh. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> How are you all so good? Got to hit the board flush here. Oh, so over. Oh, I swear oh, to God, oh, my controller oh. is dying. Oh, oh. oh my <laughs> God. See, I knew it wasn't good enough. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting fucked sideways. Plus two. Oh, that was... Least, oh, you might be done for. You might be done for. You are done for. You are done for. You are Possibly. <laughs> oh, that's, that's like crazy far too. <laughs> that's like another. <laughs> that was another <laughs> fucking centimeter, like ten centimeters, man. Chibley's kind of insane at this game. No, that's going over. <laughs> I just can't make the sticks go down and up straight. No it's impossible. I can't. I can't even mash for a second on 221, yeah. man. What? It's tough. That's tough. I was holding it over my head, and they're like, "No." I'm out of breath. Oh. Yeah. I don't see why there's judges. Like, don't you like you lift it or you don't? Yeah, you'd think. <laughs> yeah. Mm, he looked unhappy with his lift, so. You either die or you get a world record. His ass didn't prolapse. What? what? Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with Corey, man? <laughs> Dude, I, I'm the weird one? Okay. Oh, no. 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 Chibli, I'm not. You pass, and I'll help you pass. I don't know if I have Justin, you pass, I'll help man. you pass. No, you stop it! What the hell? <laughs> My dude's got no more juice in his legs, man. <laughs> Bro, my shit's so dented! My shit's so dented! Oh, oh. I was just a wall back there, man. Oh, I felt like Tom and Jerry. I couldn't get past anyone. Oh, wait, that was Corey blocking me. That wasn't Chibli blocking me. Oh, my God. I had a polo scratching my tail the goddamn whole race. I bring it back, yeah. It only takes one jump, man. Three. Yes! 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 It was a foul! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! I have an one idea. I'm going to use my Costco card. 
<laughs> to perfectly line up the flick on 45 degrees. You want like 55, isn't it? In this? Corey. Nope. Toxic. Oh my god, I fucked up my speed hard. Oh, that oh. Too low? oh my speed's gonna be bad. I my dude took a step a full fucking foot over the line. Dude. Look, it wasn't even a good jump, man, so I wouldn't be too proud of that one. I'm sad I ruined my speed because the Costco card strat worked. Man, I didn't go to Costco yesterday. Sad day. I thought you said it was mid. Do not buy the Kirkland Signature steak strips. All the plums. I was... I, I got tricked into buying them. Then I said... Uh, they're tasty. Someone said they're the worst thing you could eat. I said, why? They said nitrates. I said, there's no nitrates, brother. It's cured. Look at the ingredient list. Like number six ingredient, sodium nitrate. Motherfucker. Oh, yeah. That's okay. What's it going to do to you? It's like a class one carcinogen. Don't even know yeah, what that you means, also do, man. I mean, do you eat salami or any... Like, you eat a Subway. No, I cut it out when I found out it was a class 1 carcinogen. <laughs> uh, if you're still eating microplastics. Probably true. What are we doing? Discus? It's discus. You ever notice how your guy has uh, balls but no cock? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You know, I, I, I never thought about that. Sega, every, brave every, enough every, to model the balls, not brave enough to model the shaft. Does anyone hear that? I tried to start my car, but I think it's... <laughs> it's an old cartoon every, every dog. Morning, man. Every morning, man. Why are all these balls here? What's the angle? 40? Oh, 45! Oh, 45, perfect angle. I don't know how you, I, I, this is fixed issue, that's all I'm saying. It was worse than my last throw, what? <laughs> he got another perfect, how does he keep oh my doing God. that? Uh, if you had to do one of the scrotum destruction pranks from the new jackass, <laughs> would you rather, hang on, I know you want to focus on your shot here. Fuck. Would you rather take a slap shot to the testicles from NHL defenseman P.K. Subban, a softball to the testicles from the world's fastest women's softball pitcher, a punch to the testicles from the hardest puncher in mixed martial arts, or have someone uh, bounce with a pogo stick on your testicles? Mm -hmm. I think I'm taking the hockey. I think I'm taking the hockey. Softball's soft. No way. It's literally got soft in the name. Yeah, I think, I'm, no I think I'm taking the softball. I think softball's I'm taking the softball. Area. So you all bigger area, but yeah, like... Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's a bigger surface area. Uh, at least you're all surface area. area. Like, There's okay, a good chance like, it's, it's all high, you know? Ho hockey puck is like a solid piece of rubber. It's going to hit you with like just a tiny section. Okay, uh, I want pogo stick. Are you happy, Apollo? <laughs> I want someone to oh, literally eat my fucking nuts like a gusher. That's gonna pop like exactly. <laughs> my nuts hurt so bad right now. Why? <laughs> Because I'm thinking about all this oh, happening to my nuts. Come in 26 that's days. true. And that too. Yeah. <laughs> Justin, Justin, oh, be honest, Justin. Just from yeah. Tension, dude. Oh, man. Before the imagine? subathon started, we like, okay, I got to come because it's going to be a while. Oh, dude. Mere seconds like... before I went live. Uh, oh, my God. Right. It was the first thing I did when I woke up. Uh, really? And the I second thing I did when I woke up was go live. <laughs> I need to shower. I can't do anything without showering after doing something like even, that. He didn't even clean up in between, man. I need to man. shower. What you need are you to doing? shower after? Yeah, well, how much yeah. cum do you make? I'm just, uh, like, I just feel this. I feel like a disgusting person. Oh, I mean, when I he's laying like, on mentally, yeah, but not physically. I don't know, man. I'm kind of, like, reveling in my cum these days. I have no shame. <laughs> I don't roll around my cum, Sorry, man. That's, that's kind of weird. Reveling in my cum. Yeah, yeah. Is just... World's most well-balanced streamer. Like, I could never come and then leave the house without I, showering. I feel like I used to feel that way. You just gotta wash your hands, man. The world would not keep no, going if that no. was normal. No, what am I doing? I'm so dumb. Firm hands. Yeah, I missed one. I'm an idiot. As long as you're not, like, coming onto your own belly or something. Didn't you admit to coming <laughs> in my house? Me? Yeah, I came Me. on your toilet. I was gonna say, just so that, let the record state. <laughs> He means Chibli. <laughs> and do you know I did, what I did, no, I did not come in a house. Oh, okay. I showered, I man. Oh, man. It's fine. I went cumless in Texas. I don't even want to ask. Cumless like, in, in the toilet? Like, 
Like yeah, he you shot it in, in the toilet, or you? No, I put it in my hand, and then I carried okay, it well, to the toilet. There's, there's toilet paper right there, man. <laughs> you carried it to the toilet. <laughs> no, I carried it. It was on. I did it on the toilet, and then I did it into my hand, and I carried it to the trash. No, no, you did not put Wait, it in my what? trash can, man. Yeah. <laughs> I did. No way. <laughs> and then I. I I thought maybe putting it in the trash is bad, so I put it in the kitchen sink instead, and I oh, like no, and I turned joking. the tap on. Yeah, he's just been he was just carrying it around the whole house, man. <laughs> I can't remember if it was you guys that I told this, but Malf will corroborate this. I had a housemate in university. We found oh, out well, one that's terrible. We found out one fateful day that when he does his deed, he just does it in a glass and then like once Absolutely a week insane. he goes and washes it what and we were like why would you do that and then the he worst. was like it's like environmentally more friendly why would you and, tell anyone i know oh my god i had a friend that would um he would do it under the potted plant in the corner of his living room he would move it he would move the whole plant come on the carpet and then put the plant back on top of it oh man that's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, this this no. gum talk is powering up my shot, man. I'm fucking not It's a ruining mine. Oh, yeah, it's killing me. That turn of phrase. <laughs> or, or he would go into the back garden and do it. In the bushes. Dude, I might I break my personal bet. I don't know if I've come outdoors. <laughs> I, yeah, I haven't. No, I, don't, I definitely haven't. I don't think I have. I would know, man. I'd remember. <laughs> Oh. So yeah, I'm glad I don't have any weird cum habits, you know. Yeah, yeah. The crazy thing about this guy with, with the glass is that he's totally like he's a pretty normal guy, which is why um, when he told us that we were like, uh, what? I can. He's probably can hiding the, something. I can get over the glass part, but not doing it for a week. Like you can get over the glass week. part. Yeah, I, cannot I can get, get over, over the, the glass part. I can I get over the glass part. The, the, but then not cleaning it for a week is the part. Yeah, that's kind of vile. Like, what the fuck? But he's doing it on top of the... It? No, I don't on think so. He's normal. All covered in cheese. He's no, doing he's it. Drink it. He's doing it to save the environment, okay? How far would you go? I never use paper Pretty towels hero. because... I'll be real with you, like, my paper towel usage is like 95% washing hands and kitchen stuff. WASHING like HANDS?! YOU'RE A MONSTER, DUDE! If I'm in the kitchen, gonna, you gotta get a hand towel! I'm gonna See, be honest, I don't, me this. Sorry. I don't own paper towels, and I never have. I'm so- every time I go into a house with paper towels, I'm like, wow, they're rich. You should get some at Costco, I, they're pretty cheap. I feel like I'd have to wash a hand <laughs> towel like so constantly. Many, though. <laughs> Yeah, but when you, yeah, you, use a, you use a hand towel, yeah, like twice, and it's dirty. And it's like, nah, I use it for like, a, why, I use it for like a week straight. Well, your hands are clean after you if you wash your hands. Yeah, but don't you use the like a little towel in the kitchen? You're using that to pill, pick up little spills and shit. I will say that I at the well, very that's least, different. I paper reuse, towels are spills. If I, if I wash my hands and I use paper towel, I'll leave the paper towel there and use it a second time to like wipe up a mess or something. I don't believe you. Uh, I also don't believe because you. Because I cook with oil a lot because I make the same damn meal over and over and I wipe I'm familiar with, the, with the process of cooking food. <laughs> I've lived with you for three weeks, so I don't believe you. To say. I'm familiar with the fact that you use oil for cooking food. I said I use oil a lot, man. That's, that's, stop being a little freak. <laughs> I'm saying I wipe the oil up with the, with the paper towel. So what I type of oil do you use? Uh, uh, all of them. Uh, olive oil is anti splatter. Like it's been designed in a lab to not splatter. Oh, no, you shouldn't be frying no be be an extra virgin olive oil. What do you mean? You, but you use a paper towel to wipe up the oil. What do you mean? Like from the pan? You don't boil that. Yeah, from the pan. You don't pour it down the damn sink, dude. I was at your house. I just I send that shit down the damn yeah. sink with some hot water. What the fuck? <laughs> you're, you're, I agree you're, with Ryan, actually, like unironically. It doesn't matter. Your damn pipes, that, man. I won't live here by the time that becomes a problem. Fair, fair. About. That wind fucked me so bad. Why do I have like like eleven wind? What I eat Cheerios this morning? Honest, I've been doing it for years and it's never been a problem. That being said, yep. historically I have moved on average maybe every two to three years. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, that's fair. All up? <laughs> well, I the remember someone being bug, like, "It's yeah. not my problem." Someone was like, "Oh, never put coffee grounds in your garbage disposal." I'm like, "Well, that's a problem because I've been doing it for like five years." <laughs> What's wrong with that? I, I do but a cardinal. Uh, apparently, it's really bad for it. I do a cardinal uh, pipe send. 
wet wipes, dude. This is the penultimate oh, that's oh, worse yeah, than the olive oil, one. oil, man. That, that oh, is, you're that just looking for an out, aren't you? Those not, they're not flushable unless you get the Kirkland ones that say flushable wipes. But they're still not really no, flushable. It says flushable on yeah, it's, the. It's okay. If it said jump off. So you meant to just put them in the trash with poop all over them? That's why I don't do it, because it's weird. You guys got to get if a If I wipe and there's like nothing on it, I'll put it in the trash. But if I wipe Paul, and there's a pile of poop on there, I'm putting it down the thing. Yeah, dude, why a bidet would change there... your life, man. I eat my wit wipes after I use them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they said digestible yeah. on the pack. I brush with them. <laughs> Can, that's the first time like you've said something that you were not able to finish this. You read the book. <laughs> I just imagine, Chip, what's taking so long in there? Double <laughs> <laughs> so lemony. Look, everyone has their vices, all right, and everyone deserves to be made fun of them for it. Eating wet wipes is not. I don't eat poop. <laughs> Yeah, he just eats. If there's the not poop on it. I'll eat it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe we just have better pipes here than in America. That's not. I don't know. Oh Maybe Canada's God. insane at plumbing. You 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 live in like a newer building, so you just haven't accumulated the gunk yet. Mm, yeah, that's why I'm, we'll probably leave like within a few years. I mean, it's the same in Korea. They were like. When you wipe your butt, even with just regular toilet paper, they're like, don't flush it down the toilet. Our pipes can't handle it. And I'm like, well, it sounds like a problem for like a Korean plumber eventually because I am not keeping a garbage can full yeah, of my I shit next to I me. I don't understand. That. Well, I mean, I guess if you use a bidet, maybe. Yeah, they, a bidet wouldn't be so bad. The school did not provide a, a bidet to us. A bidet. Oh, did, did, you have, did you have the, did you have like the squatty potties? No, it was a regular toilet. It was a simple toilet. Dude, those squatty potties broke my brain the first year I was there. One I time, had nine diagonal wind. What the fuck? One time we were in Japan well. and I I walked into a bathroom stall in a train station. I had to pee so bad. It was a squatty potty mm -hmm. stall, but I was like, no big deal because I'm just peeing. And then when yeah. I started peeing, I looked down next to my shoe, and there was an <laughs> enormous turd on the ground with like a a huge boot print in it. And I got so I got so nervous because I was like. I can't leave the stall because then all the people in the train station are going to be like, hey, that white guy just shit all over the floor. And I'm like, so. And stood in it. Luckily, it, I just, I mean, I left and there was nobody there, but I was really, that, was, that could have been a real problem. You picked it up and put it in the toilet. For, for greatness? Oh my God. I've never had this opportunity before. I think I've, well, you've had, I think you've had I, it every time. We just never, you never succeeded. <laughs> Holy they God. should have holes for peeing. No, in. it's incredible. Instead of urinals, it should just be like a bunch of holes that you insert into, and then the you pee in there. Yeah, I'm not putting no slash. I'm not putting my yeah. my my penis head in one of those. Why? Because I don't know what's on the other side. That was the sound of a knife. The toilet. I hope so, but how do I know? But I still nailed it. Let's go. You can peek through the. You can get your eye up to the hole and peek. You can peek through the hole. Dude, that's how. That's how. That's how Sean Wayans died in Scary Movie. I'm not doing that. I mean, great. Jamie. You won one, uh, one, you won one fucking thing. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Like, I'm happy for you, but London's not over, man. It's fucking over, dude. Yeah, but, okay, over, now dude. you think you're so hot shit, try to get a perfect score in men's. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> PB, I mean, I get it. You got a perfect score in women's archery. Oh, my God. Dude, three weeks in a row. Warning, could not connect to the leaderboard server. They're trying the, the ball. <laughs> they are. They are. They are. Huh? Oh, dude, did, me, they finally, did they finally take the servers down? They know I got an pack on. Oh, You got an eight pack? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just want to make it clear I I support and love women. Right, yeah. Yeah, that that's happens. Insulting. Ryan, uh, that's a really, fuck, really good start. What the fuck? I don't know. I, when do you I, hold dude, back? I, I'm with you, dude. I have no fucking clue how this game When do you pull back in the shower? When you pee? Well, I fouled if I throw it then, so I guess I have to throw it a little bit sooner. Everybody point and laugh at Chip, he's uncircumcised. Lol. <laughs> Damn. Damn. 
fucking dude. <laughs> right? I'll have you know I have a lot of issues with my penis, <laughs> and that it was a really who does it, man? subject. I, no, I'm just I'll kidding. Never do better than this throw. And it, I guess I'll take second. I'll have you know everyone loves an uncut penis. <laughs> One in chat you. if you've measured. I think everyone's measured. I've never measured. Everyone I haven't measured since I was like a teen. It's worse if you measure and then Google, hey, what's the average? <laughs> like, that oh, is that, more humiliating. Does that make you feel good? People well, from Europe average? be like, my penis is 700 millimeters long. Exactly. It does sound pretty huge. <laughs> I guess it's 70 centimeters. That is pretty big. Wait, am I, am I making a mistake here in my metric? <laughs> What's the average? No shot. Also, give fucking me fat the nerd. average American so that I can probably maybe, you know, was have it like, a better, was it like a better rounding number. The average is like three to four inches, guys. <laughs> yeah. How old? How, how big? I think it's like five. Oh, I think yeah, it's yeah, like think it's four like to five. five. I'm not even yeah. joking. I'm seeing some fives. I'm seeing. I'm seeing a five and a half. Well, the problem is Pete Davidson skews the average so much. Americans have bigger penises. Oh shit. Yeah, it's all the pollution. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, the pollution's average. making our dicks tinier, right? I think it's because Americans are big. No the there can't be a correlation there. Like, 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 they're, they have a taller population than a lot of the rest yeah, of the world. Isn't it the taller is someone, you are, you is know, someone like... that's been in New Zealand and America, Americans are on average shorter, dude. Yeah, but what? New Zealand's probably got big dicks, too. Yeah. Right, Chip? <laughs> yeah. You weren't in America. You were in Los Angeles, okay? It's... And I was in Texas. And oh, I was in fucking American. Utah for some reason. <laughs> All right, Utah, Utah, I'll Utah? give you, but... Yeah, a bunch of sugar. And in burp. What are you? I got a fucking PB, dude. <laughs> you turned... You got a crazy New score. Zealand, dude. <laughs> I got a PB, dude. <laughs> oh, man. You tuck the ball so you're more aerodynamic? Wow, well, you're not you guys you're you must be mighty embarrassed about that one. Hey, what do you say we run back one more session of the best events ever to get eight minutes? Yeah. That'll kill like a minute right there. Everybody loves javelin, right? Oh, whoa, you left the game! <laughs> eight minutes early because the poor puppy wants to go outside. Mm. Millennials, has a millennials when they see a dog. Oh, you sweet, come here, my sweet. Millennials when they see a child. You fucking donkey, you fucking. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Interesting that you said swamp. that as a millennial with a child. <laughs> okay, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> He's got two cats. Yeah, no millennials when they see a child. Get out of my swamp! Get out, Get out of what swamp. are you doing in my swamp? Thank you, Chad. I saw that from Chad. They got Thank some you, Chad. of my best jokes. We're gonna credit. I got a credit. Chad, I, I said that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I took that from chat. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Oh. This one's a shaft, right, but Corey. no balls. This one shaft, no balls? Shaft, no balls. Sorry, Justin. I know you're kind of like on a hair trigger right now. <laughs> Don't want to have any lewd discussions. Justin's so laggy. Oh, great race. Great race. Matter that I'm like, right, Holy right. cow, we're know, so synchronized. Look at us, man. <laughs> we're synchronized. <laughs> the two goats. The two goats. They're having a goat off. <laughs> oh, they're falling at the same time, covering their face at the same time. I don't even oh, see them, man. man. I'm watching them waiting for other they're, players. They're going, yes, yes. They're both standing up and dead. Dude, they must have practiced this for like hundreds of hours. This is crazy. <laughs> to do this on the world stage? Wait, is... they should have synchronized <laughs> swimming in the in the next London game. That's crazy. The next London game, <laughs> dude. I'm so sad. Tokyo 2020 is <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh man. Because like I think because we both got Olympic records, they just played the Olympic record animation, <laughs> and our, both of our guys were just losing it perfectly in sync. They're in oh. love. <laughs> so, it's the little things, man. Justin, I think you're muted, by the way. Do you have to jump over the hurdle? Or could you just, like, go really fast and then slide under all of them to the end? I think you have to go over <laughs> You could. I'm not really a rules expert, but I, I can't imagine. 
That'd be a cool secondary event, though. Or, like, what if there was somebody that was so short that they could just run full speed <laughs> under the hurdle? Child. <laughs> like, wait, the child the, just runs. The Germa green screen one where they make him run through the dog course, the dog agility yeah. course. Yep. Oh, man. I don't know if I've seen the Germa one. I've seen the Shrek one. That's exactly the same, except it's Germa, but it's it's worth watching for sure. I cannot handle German not trying to be funny. It's always the funniest fucking shit. Like, he's always funny when he's trying to be funny, but when he's just doing something regular, it's just the funniest fucking thing. It doesn't make any sense. How do I get people to look at me like that? Like, can people just find me breathing funny? Like, come on, man. He's got it easy. This guy's breathing. I think there was, there was a clip I saw the other day of him trying to fucking solve a puzzle of Resident Evil 4. It's the funniest fucking thing in the world. What's funny about that? He took like uh, an extraordinarily long amount of time and eventually just asked his chat to do it for him. Yeah, why do- so if I fail a puzzle in Risen Evil 4, people tell me to go die. Why do people laugh what along with hell? Joma? I'm expecting what the hell, man? Did you tell me to go die? That's probably happened before. There's another clip of him, uh, someone in his chat says he looks like a yellow m and and he spends like two minutes <laughs> trying to decide whether or not it's true. Okay, that's funny. <gasps> oh! They said it couldn't be done! Did you finally land? I landed a jump! Wow, let's go. You beat me! Oh, never mind. Not really. Guys, no one tells me to die. I'm joking. No one tells me to die. It was a joke. Some of my fans do sometimes. Yeah, but like... They hating from outside the club, so it doesn't, it doesn't really do anything to me. It's a good point. It's a good point. Uh, good, good games. Good games. Ah, GGs. GGs. Hey, Ryan, did you see Jaska got the first checkpoint in that TCL level after like 20 hours? I This morning, the first thing I saw on Twitter was I knew this would be the run, and I thought it would be the whole level, but it was just the first <laughs> checkpoint, and I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> Yeah, it's vicious. That is crazy. Oh. This is great, though. I forgot I was mad at you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good level, man. You should, I, I, the, you should see the second section. Oh, I did, because I watched your clear video, and that's like the oh, yeah. main reason I'm mad at it. It's like, you just grab this shell, and then you toss it up here, and then you do another shell grab, and then you do a double bounce on this spiny, then you do a Z-jump and grab this shell, and you grab the shell that you threw before, and then that's it's as simple as that. <laughs> well, the simple as that was definitely, you know, tongue-in-cheek, man. Come on. I just hung up. I didn't know I had to do like an Irish goodbye because they I said goodbye or I said like good game with my voice trailing off like I was going to leave. And then they started like a whole new conversational thread. I think Kate is live already. I will send you over there. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the rest of your uh, your evening and I will be back tomorrow. An Irish goodbye is not get out of me swamp. Shrek is Scottish, okay? Later. When you realize which is a vintage console, is it vintage console? Is is it? When Switch was released in 2008? Ain't no way! Really? When did Switch come out? Are you a freaking liar? It was 2017! You monsters! 2008! They say 2008! Get out of here! Damn, they got your ass? No, I said ain't no way! I said ain't no way! And I was right! I was like 2008. That means I was in high school, and I know what I was playing when I was in high school. I was playing Xbox 360. I remember when I got my Xbox 360. I'm pretty sure it was like 300, 350 bucks or something like that. But I, I asked my mom like. Mom, for my birthday, can I please have Xbox 360, please? And then my mom was like, what is this Xbox 360? 
and I said, it's a video game console. And then my mom was like, video game? No, no, no. You have to study. You have to practice. There's no uh, time for you to play video game. And I said, yes, I do. I do all my homeworks and I get straight A's. And I also practice music. Like, please, I really want an Xbox 360. Please. And then my mom was like, no. And then I cried and I asked for like a week. And then I had to bargain with my mom even after that. And I was like, can you then at least pay half? For like, and then I can, I can get the other half. Like I will pay the other half. And then my mom was like, okay, fine. And then uh, I think she paid like 150 bucks. And I got the Xbox 360. I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh. This is the future. Because like in previous gen, you weren't like, you could connect to internet. But you weren't like able to play video games online all that often. Or like you couldn't actually play video games online with your friends. Except Final Fantasy XI. But you know, that's, I think, just that's unusual. But anyways. Like, the... I was like, oh my gosh, I can, like... And the thing about Xbox 360 that was so awesome was that you were able to link your MSN account because it was Microsoft. So you were able to link MSN to your Xbox Live. So whenever you had MSN messages, it will show up. And you if you bought this, like, attachment that attaches to your Xbox 360 controller... It's a keyboard, and you can actually type with it. So, like, I was typing messages while I was playing game, and it was, it was like the future. I was playing Star Ocean, and uh, I got like MSN pop up notification, and I was like, oh, let me just reply quickly, and I just reply. Oh, dude, it was it was the future. That was like a godsend console. Like, I played. I play so many games. That gotta be a gaudy console. Like, I played, um, what was it? Like, Xbox indie games? Or, it, uh, it was called arcades, I think. Xbox arcades. Like, those are the Castle Crashers, like the indie games. Those were so fun. I played so much of Left 4 Dead 1 and 2. Um, I, I played the the Gears of War, but then Gears of War, after playing it, like, for a bit, it made me really sick. Like, all that blood. Like, I'm pretty okay with gore, but, like, when he chainsaws the heart of the earthworm monster, and I was like, oh, that is just gross. Like, the dude is like, yeah! And then, like, the earthworm had, like, nine hearts or something. And it was just blood everywhere. I'm like, oh, it's just gross, man. It's just gross. And I feel so, like, disgusted I couldn't even eat dinner. I didn't play any of the Halo. But that was, like, that was the era where I played Call of Duty. That was the Call of Duty era. And I played Call of Duty a lot. I remember I played it so much and uh like prestiging and like um it was like i was i was really all about that ranking up it was it was fun and like every year new call of duty came out it was uh it was really fun to play with friends and also like just by myself as well and then Man, there were so many, like, good JRPGs as well. The Tales of Vesperia came out only for Xbox 360. Like, the... Some, like... I don't Like, the... They, they had some good stuff. But I, I was able to play... I think that was my first game console that I was truly able to express my gamer life. Because I did have PlayStation 2. But the PlayStation 2... I was still too young, and 
my mom didn't buy me any games, so I just, I was stuck with like three games, and that was it. Like, Kingdom Hearts one and two. <laughs> um, Final Fantasy ten. Um, I think I played Tales of Legendia as well. But I mean, like PlayStation Two. Even though PlayStation Two was amazing console, I just didn't have game. Like I didn't have money, so I I couldn't play that many of like video games. Whereas like Xbox Three Sixty, I was in high school. I was tutoring kids, and I was making money. I was giving lessons. That was a good time. And also, we cannot forget the Xbox 360's, uh, my, was it like Microsoft Arcades or something like that? Xbox Arcade. And then, um, the, you, you can play, it was like Steam. It was like Steam now. A lot of, like, weird, janky games were there. And, uh... A lot of like weird horny ones, but I guess like you cannot show nudity, but you can like refer, refer nudity. I guess that's why that's that's how um Ryan and I we we did a series on YouTube. I forgot what it was called. It was like probably probably like how to pick up a girl in a club. Or it was like a hot dog, hot hot dog girls. I forget what it was called. It was a a uh, big booby lady with afro, and she held like enormously long ass hot dog, and she was trying to eat it, and like her mouth is open, like ah. I forgot what what that game was called. And then um. Ryan and I, that was like our first co-op. Uh, I was like, <laughs> I, I was the, that was the bad influence on, on this pure, uh, innocent egg. He's just like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a game critic. And here I am, like, Ryan. In order to grow your YouTube channel, you gotta play those booby games. Like, you don't need to... They don't even need to show you boobies. Just put put boobies on the thumbnail. People will click it. People will just watch it. They just they just want to see the boobs. It doesn't matter. Anime, 2D, 3D. Just They just want boobs. And then... We... I think... Wait, wait well, hold on. I think the first series that I played games with Ryan was... Mario Party 3. And then people were like, OMG, Kate is hilarious. And then we started a series on his YouTube channel. And then it was like, I don't know, it was called like, Kate and Ryan playing shit game, sh shitty, shitty Xbox arcade games or something. Shitty Xbox arcade games? Something like that. And then, uh... We didn't play tons, we played two. One was like, it basically, it was so stupid. The girl goes like, hi, hi, my name is Jessie. Um, I like yellow and I was born November. All right, do you remember which month I was born? And then there's like option that you have to choose. And then if you get it wrong, the girl goes like, ugh, like you're such a loser. And then it goes game over. And then, if you remember, and you're like, yeah, you were born in November, like, ooh, I like, guy, I like a guy like you. And then, she then just, like, randomly says, like, I like to play Rubik's Cube. You know, I like to do tennis. I like to swim. Which sport do I not like? Or something. Or do I like? And then there's, like, options. And, like, literally, it was just, like, she, she would just say a bunch of weird stuff. And then you just have to memorize it, and then you have to answer it correctly. And then she goes like, "Yeah, you're such a hottie. It's such it's so rare to find a guy like you in in this town or something." 
That so we played that one. The other one was also really really bad. That one was like horny witch pump horny pumpkin witch or something. And it was just the it was just the platformer. She just like instead of collecting coins, she was just collecting pumpkins. And like the title of the game was like Big Booby Witch Lady going like woo. But then the whole gameplay was just like dumbass, lame ass platform, just pumpkins here and there, and you just collect pumpkin and that was it. It was uh it was bad. But th those are the two only games that we played that was horny i guess but i think right i don't think you can find those videos right well, i was gonna watch it and then i was like i cannot find those videos what happened and ryan said he he deleted it <laughs> and i'm like no and he's like i don't like those old videos i think he just like he just you know looks at the old videos and then he just like erase them the ones that he doesn't like Librarian has a supercut? Bro, that was like 10 years ago. Librarian was 10. <laughs> he, we, he was too young. He doesn't know what we were talking about. It was 10 years ago. You were 10 years old. Fuck you, I was 12. Oh my gosh. Just keep on stay losing. <laughs> I remember like his old mic was he he cherished the old mic. I was like, "Ooh, is that a fancy mic?" and he was like, "This is the greatest mic of all time." But you know, I was I was in music, right? So I work with like professional microphones and like those are like $3,000 or higher. So I was like, "Ooh, how much is your microphone?" And then he said, it's whooping hundred fifty dollars. Don't touch it. Don't break it. It's hundred fifty dollars. And then I was like, even back then, I was like, whoa, I thought it was much more expensive than hundred fifty bucks. <laughs> and then when the microphone broke, everybody was like, Ryan, your microphone broke. Please, please get a new microphone. Please, please. Hey, Natty Uno, thank you very much for the gift sub. Thank you. You know how he is. Like, Chad asked Ryan to get something new because it's broken. But Ryan goes like, ah, you know, it's all right. It still works. I don't know about you guys. But the video that I was like... The the one that re I remember the most. I mean, there are a lot of videos that I remember a, a lot. But, like, like one of the first videos that I remember of, like, Ryan was... We were... We weren't dating, but we were flirting. We were like, ooh. But then I never knew how he looked. So he was like, oh, I'm gonna play... I'm gonna play, uh xbox 360 just dance game or i think it was just dance or it was that i don't know it was equivalent oh no it wasn't 360 it was xbox one and it was like with the connect connect thing and i'm pretty sure it was just dance and then he said he's gonna upload that video so I would be able to see how he looks. And I was like, oh my gosh. And he's like, don't worry, I'll upload that video tomorrow. And I was like, oh my gosh. I get to see how he looks and stuff. And as you all know, Connect video quality is so shitty. It's like, he just looks like Mega Man. Like, he just looks like like my Minecraft just, you can just see like like a, it's like I can tell it's a human but then that's it and then, and then like he's like did you like the video 
And then I was like, yeah. But I was like, I was hoping to see how he looks. But then the connect video was so bad that I, I still was like clueless of how he looked. It was, it was like, I couldn't tell anything. I don't know if he still has a Just Dance video. But if you, if he has it, you should go watch it and see how bad the connect video is. Like he put, he put the, um, like the connect video on like the bottom right. And he put it so small too. It was like so, so small. And then you can just see like shadow moving. Oh, you cannot find it. He must, uh. He likes to unlist or delete his old videos. Ryan does not like his old videos. Wah, wah. That was the first video. That was the first face reveal of Northern Lion. Except you couldn't really see a thing. <laughs> but that was that was the reveal. Why did it decide that of all things to be his first face reveal to you? <laughs> Most people just send the picture. I guess he just didn't want to send the picture. I was like, I want to see how, he, how you look. And then Ryan said, oh, like, I will upload a video that you can see my whole body tomorrow. And it was just dance and was connect. And, like, the video, like, the, like, the, the connect, connect, uh, connect video part of it was so small that I could, like, barely make out of anything. Probably he was being careful. You know, you never know if I was a uh, catfish or whatnot, you know? Like, he didn't want to send a photo of him to a stranger online. So he, he wanted to be careful, I guess. Like I said, he's a... Uh, he was a very, very innocent. <laughs> okay. I corrupted him with all the... All the... Suggestion of playing booby games and the horny games. <laughs> it was me. I did it. I'm guilty. He didn't want you to deep fake him 20 years later. <laughs> older than his infamous dog joke video. Oh no, it w it's not older than his uh, dog joke video. I was able to see, like, well, I guess, like, I can see how he looked with that video. But then you can only see his face. You cannot see, like, his body and stuff. So it was, like, the Connect video was supposed to show his whole body. You know how, like, Just Dance? If you were to watch someone doing Just Dance right now, you can see them clearly, like, they're head-to-toe dancing and all that. And then, um... Like, but then back then, like, you can just see, like, like, stick figure, basically. Probably he unlisted it because he danced so bad. <laughs> but I don't remember him dancing at all. All I, all I remember was trying to make a sense out of this super low quality camera. We gotta ask him to relist it for archival purpose. I'm pretty sure the reason why he unlisted it is because he doesn't want you guys to archive them. <laughs> I think like the the only the true fans of Northern Lion remembers the oldest Do you guys know the oldest let's play on his channel? I might remember it not correctly. But it is one of the oldest. Like, name three oldest Let's Play uh, videos. It's not Super Meat Boy. One of them was the, uh, the Simpson Bart adventure. But that is like earlier of the oldest. Yeah, Bart's Nightmare. Bart's Nightmare wasn't the oldest. Oh man. 
No true fan. No true fan in the chat. Feels like. Feels like I guess I'm the true fan. Feel guess uh feel feel guess. I <laughs> feel like I guess I'm uh I'm the true true fan. The truest fan. Brother, you're his wife. <laughs> but I I watch his oldest videos. Because back then he didn't have like five thousand videos. He he didn't have that many videos. Slenderman! Slenderman is like so new compared to the life of Ryan's YouTube channel. Like S Slenderman was that's that's new. That's like a uh, Dark Soul time. All those fans are 45 now. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not 45. Okay, I think the oldest video of Let's Play was The Room. It was a like it was a point and click adventure game based on the movie The Room and he played it with Mal. Here, let's go to the Oh hi Mike. Oh hi <laughs> I clicked. I clicked it. Yeah, it was. It's this one. January twenty ninth of twenty eleven. Hi, Ryan. Guess what we are playing today? <laughs> he sounds. He sounds drunk. But look at the ratio, chick. Look at the ratio. Oh my god, I even had a thumbs up. That's crazy. Dude, I am one of the first to give a thumbs up on that video. Mm. <gasps> what the hell is this? It's this one. Guess what we are playing today? Um, this could we really could only be one thing. It looks like it's the room, the yeah, video game. Yeah, it in fact it is. Oops. The room, the video game. <laughs> so for those of you who are not familiar, the room is probably universally regarded the as the best. When mouth sounds just like made. how it he is right is now. It's god awful, but it's also supremely entertaining. Instant cult classic. Absolutely. Mouth sounds and, uh, just you know, like myself, he think, is right now. You know, probably a dozen times. Uh, it's one of those things that once you, once it hits you, you're just kind of obsessed Dude, with it what is while. this? I'll say so. Northern Lions egg <laughs> card? What the hell is this so face? I hate you. the character you're playing as is that short troll looking <laughs> fellow with the long black hair. I cannot Autumn. take, I cannot take it anymore. I cannot take it. Are you are you gonna post like <laughs> Dragon Slayer doppelganger and be like this is his first new LP? Uh, everyone's gonna get everyone's gonna get jabated. <laughs> this is this is his first let's play. The uh. I thought it would be funny to show it to Ryan's mom, so I did, but Ryan still remembers the day that I showed the video to his mom, and he... I'm pretty sure he hates me now. <laughs> Ever since... I thought his mom knew, and the video was so old, and I showed it to her when it was like 2018 or something, like it was pretty recent, so I thought... I thought, you know, like, I thought it would be okay. Because I was asking her about the the Dragon Slayer doppelganger, and then she's like, what is this? And I'm like, wait, you don't know what Dragon Slayer doppelganger is? And she's like, no, I haven't, I haven't heard a thing about that. And I was like, oh. And then I show it to her, and then Ryan's like, what are you guys doing? And then I was like, I'm showing your mom Dragon Slayer doppelganger, and then Ryan... His face was like unhappy. 
Bartz is no longer available. Man, that's the legendary video. I freaking watched that video so many times when I was falling asleep. I'm pretty sure you guys watch like Ryan's YouTube channel to fall asleep on. And that was me when I was in university. And Bart's Nightmare was like number one go to. Because uh, I don't know why. I really enjoyed watching Ryan in pain. And <laughs> the game was very bad. And Ryan was in pain trying to play the game. <laughs> and like he was like trying to shoot balloons or something. And like the control was so bad that like. He misses the balloon so many times, and he's like, "Oh, oh, it was, it was, that was the good stuff. That was good stuff." Bart's nightmare got delisted. No, right? Do how did Ryan get rid of all of his uh, the vlogs that he fil filmed when he was in Korea? I also really liked um, him eating odeng. <laughs> and like this is called Odeng. It's uh Korean street food. It's my favorite. It's so good. And he was like, oh, no 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 no. The hot dog lady one that you're talking about was on Scum's archive. The thumbnail. I basically created the thumbnail. I told him to create the thumbnail like that. I was like. This is how you get your million view. Because back then, million view was like enormous. I mean, even now, a million view is crazy. But back then, if you had a video that had a million view, that was it. You made it. Like if you had one video that hit one million, like you, you made it. <laughs> the lady is not sucking off a hot dog. The lady is eating the hot dog. Huge difference. <laughs> what are you guys gonna do for April Fool? Like if April first, April's Fool Day. It's uh, it's gonna be Saturday. I'm like, I don't know why. I feel like, I feel like you know, I feel like I want to do something. But then I don't have anything cool. I don't want to be like, you know, rude. I want to do something fun. Sound something funny. <laughs> oh my god! Wait! Hold on! Ryan did a Ahegao face? Or did you Photoshop that? He did? Where? In arts? Oh my god! <laughs> the ghost mob one? It's so fucked up! Ah! That was so cursed! Please! Why did you erase it? Ghost mob! Ghost mob, I hate you so much! Ah, oh my god. Please, please, please just tell me that image or the gif have, has never been shared outside of this Discord. Please. Please! You guys didn't save it and shared it on the internet, have you? Oh, hey, that's the sticker I denied. Oh my god! They apply for a sticker? You guys are freaking... You guys are... I don't even know what the word. You... You requested the sticker for this? Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys are monsters. I hate you. I hate you! I'm malicious, mean, and scary. My sneer could curdle dairy. And violence-wise, my hands are not the cleanest. But despite my evil look, and my temper, and my hook, I've always yearned to be a concert pianist. 
Can't you see me on the stage performing Mozart? Twinkling the ivories till they gleam. Though I do like breaking femurs, you can kill me with the dreamers. Cause way down deep inside, I've got a dream. I've got a dream. He's got a dream. You can.